believe it or not, I've actually been here since like eight o'clock. Being like, oh, I gotta, I gotta be a good DM. No. I gotta impress these guys. <laughs> <laughs> hit, hit refresh. It says three minutes there, Hart. I think we're just starting. Wait, where's refresh? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, refresh. So oh, how is everyone doing? <laughs> doing all right. How are you? Oh, oh, can't complain. Really, really happy you guys spend your Saturday night hanging out with me of all people. <laughs> right? It's all good. Uh, uh, so this is a lot of fun. I, I guess before we uh, get started proper and go around the room, as is tradition uh, in a and d game, I you know, want to take the opportunity here to thank Baltimore Comic Con for letting me uh, be a part of this and run this game for you all tonight. And especially I want to thank uh, my good pal Sal Crivelli of uh, Comic Pop who recommended me for this actually. Uh, I've only been doing my own D&D stream capes and quests basically since the pandemic started. So he's like, hey Joe, you want to you want to do this? No pressure or anything. So I, uh, I was really uh, real thankful for that. Sal's done a lot of good work uh, behind the scenes and everything and uh, just wanted to make sure he got some credit here and now. So uh, yes, tonight everyone we will be playing a game of d and I am Joel Daly. I will be your dungeon master tonight. Some of you probably know me better as Cape Joel or if you know know my D&D work at all, you probably know it from the show Capes and Quests. And oh man, I just have a killer's row of writers and creatives here tonight I get to play with. And I am so, so super jazzed. I guess, uh, do we want to maybe go around in a circle a little bit here and, you know, you can introduce yourself, say uh, where people might know you from, and also uh, tell us uh, what kind of character you're going to be playing tonight for this game. Well, I'm going to go first. Sure. Lady. <laughs> sure, ladies first. <laughs> ladies first. Um, my name is Cecil Castellucci. Um, I currently, I'm finishing up Batgirl. Batgirl at, uh, number 50 uh, comes out on, on Wednesday. Um, and uh, uh, I also did Shade the Changing Girl and Female Furies and uh, The Plain Janes and Soupy Leaves Home and a bunch of other uh, things. And I will be playing a, uh, a haunted, with a haunted past bard. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Nice. Love it. Awesome. Tom, go for it. Uh, I'm Tom Akel. I'm the publisher of Rocket Ship Entertainment. Uh, I have a long and notorious background at uh, Comedy Central and MTV and Webtoon uh, before uh, starting my own company. I am playing a uh, human ranger with a criminal spy haunted past background as well um, <laughs> named um, Agnes. Yes. And I will probably speak in my... Uh, my, my dead grandmother's voice uh, as the voice of Agnes the Ranger throughout the campaign. Awesome. Love it. Troy? Uh, I'm, I'm Troy Little, um, comic writer, artist. Uh, Pegamus Press is our little imprint. Uh, I worked on this Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons comic Ooh, as the artist eight. with this guy over here, <laughs> little wordsmith guy. And we just lost a Ringo tonight, so we're pumped. <laughs> we're freaking hard. I got the bottle rate. I'm ready to go. I've been oh drinking since 6 a.m. Um, <laughs> I'll be playing Gavin Girth. This is Gavin Girth. He oh is a dwarf barbarian who holds my dice. That's Sweet. awesome. <laughs> so good. Uh, I'm Jim Zub. I'm the uh, writer of the Ringo losing Rick and Morty versus Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> uh, with this guy right here. It's so good. So good. Uh, we had an absolute blast on that series <laughs> together. I read the official Dungeons and Dragons comic. I've been doing that since uh, fifth edition launch back in 2014. And I write uh, Conan the Barbarian monthly for Marvel. And every time I say that, I get a big smile on my face because uh, two of my absolute favorite things. Um, yeah, all kinds of other fantasy sword and sorcery stuff. D&D is kind of my jam. Tonight I'm playing a. I, I'm the one who's sopping up the blood. I'm the, I'm the cleric. So I'm a dragonborn cleric named Clife the Caring. Uh, nice. So he'll be um, obnoxiously kind to you all. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't put. I, I just I entered my name down into my thing. I'm Dulane Smalls. Just. Uh, oh, that's that's a smart idea. I should have done that as well. Yeah, I should probably put Dungeon Master on my thing, too, just so I can feel good about myself and pretend that I really am a Dungeon Master here with all these awesome people, many of whom have actually written official Dungeons & Dragons <laughs> stuff, and yet I, I I am here having to tell a story to you. No pressure. It's all good. Dive yeah. right in. Yeah, I mean, you know, no pressure at all. I mean, if everything goes too bad, I can just drop a bunch of meteorites on you all and end the there game. Right. Perfect. Yeah, that's what's oh. always good about it. All righty, then. So we can begin, then? 
Yes. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is an we're rolling our own stuff, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 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 we got wonderful. So uh, this is an adventure of my own creation called The Chains of Walter, and you will know why in a moment. Uh, as your adventure begins, you find yourself in the back of a creaky prison cart with your heads covered by burlap sacks. Your hands and leg shackles jingle and jangle as the cart bumps up and down along craggy, narrow roads leading to the keep of the Baroness Walder a cruel aristocrat who has made mountains of gold selling weapons of death to the highest bidder. You feel you'll probably reach the keep in about a few moments. Is there anything uh, you want to do on the way there? So we've got ba we got bags over our heads. Oh yeah. Yeah. They really, they're, they're really black bagging you on this one here, legs and feet shackled and bags over your head. They do not want you to see where you're going. But my mouth is not bound. Therefore mm -hmm. I am singing a mournful <laughs> tune. <laughs> <laughs> a mournful tune that's good a mournful tune because i because i fear what is in the future but it comforts me because i'm so dark inside it's good so i'm sort of even though i can't see anything my head's sort of darting around this you know a uh, dragonborn with this bag over his head and he's like um there may there may have been a a, a, a miscommunication here a slight <laughs> miscommunication i don't i don't quite know why i'm here anyone anyone know why we're here uh I sign up for this every Saturday night. So, <laughs> but, uh, people people pay good gold for this kind for. of stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, I dropped fifty gold on this. <laughs> one of uh, one of the cart drivers who are in front of you right now pipes up. Oh, quiet down there, you lot! <laughs> there'll be no mournful tunes, and there'll be no colorful, uh, interesting discussions of what brought you here or not. <laughs> Um, I sing more quietly, but I continue to sing. <laughs> I hum along, kind of a nice little harmony that kind of underlies. Nice. The do, do any do any of you um feel like like praying, P praying maybe perhaps? This is my form of praying. Oh, okay. The church of song. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you carry on like this, praying and singing and making wry observations about what brought you to this situation. Uh, perhaps you think about whether you're guilty and deserve to be here or not. Uh, eventually, you do manage to reach the keep, and you four unlucky people are marched in line uh, up a long, winding staircase to basically the dungeon tower of the keep. And uh, one by one, you have your burlap sacks removed, and you are kicked in inside musty stone st uh, stone cells. Man, that's a tongue twister of a word. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I would like my sack back. <laughs> Pay good money for that sack. That's I mean, right. I mean, no one's ever asked for the sack back before. I, I guess you couldn't use it to escape. You know, I'm feeling in a good mood to die. You can have it. Sweet. Thank you very much. I put it back. Looking around. So there's a dwarf. <laughs> See, so what? what oh, I'm, I, I'm a half elf. Okay, so you're a half elf. I'm, you got a human. I'm enjoying stonework immensely. Nice. You're, in, yeah. you're inspecting I'm, the stonework? I'm checking out the crevices. I'm getting a good feel for it. Nice. Um, So do you know why we're here? Well, it could be a number one. I'm guilty of for The rest of you are not here voluntarily? What's the room? <laughs> Well, I, I always knew that my past would catch up with me at some point. So <laughs> it's just a matter of, of which which thing from my past it is that so has mysterious. brought me here to this moment. So Dark and haunted. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of nervously looking around. Wait. I don't I I said all my proper prayers and I I I had at least two two vegetables yesterday and some fruit. <laughs> I don't know what I could have done wrong at all, actually. I, I did morning prayer, and I did noon prayer, and I did evening prayer. <gasps> what's, the, what's the room look like? Are there bars on anything? Uh, yes, they are your typical medieval dungeon cells, uh, yeah, with uh, bars in front of them and a lot of stone uh, around you. And uh, you, you're all in individual cells right now, kind of facing <laughs> each other, so... Uh, what is it, Dulane and Gavin? You're on one side, Jim and Tom. You're on the other, so you can like see and right. talk to each other. But yeah, you're all different. Okay. Oh, there's <laughs> bars. Yes. Okay. I didn't, I didn't have enough citrus. <laughs> it's always something, my friend. It's always are there, something. Are there guards? 
Uh, yeah, there's a couple of guys uh, by the doorway, by the stairs oh. that you came up, but uh, by and large. And yes, you're in a very tall tower, I should say, that you went up quite a few flights of spiral stairs, so you're up very high right now. Does somebody have their eyes on us, or are they just kind of like... They're just kind of, you know, shooting the shit right now, talking to each other. They they don't seem all that interested in you. Oh, like, what's the distance? Like, what can I get away with here? Uh, they're about four or five feet in the thing. You're at the far end of the cells. Um, do I if recognize I, it? Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Tom. I have one more question. Sure. If I pissed on the burlap and wrapped it around the bars and started twisting it to bend them, <laughs> because my urine will hold the burlap together, which is why I saved it, will hey. they notice me doing that? I mean, you are more than welcome to try, <laughs> sir. You go for it. Uh, do you want to roll? A, should you roll a stealth and should you roll a strength? Okay, ro roll a stealth, and then if that works, you can roll a strength and see if your burlap trick works. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, so as he's... Oh, as he's peeing. All part of the fun. <laughs> as he's peeing, uh, I sing a little louder because now I'm seeing my uh, my chance uh, to you know to maybe make a move and not not be resigned to my fate. So I I I, I muster up a singing. <laughs> What's your character's name, Tom? Agnes. Oh, Agnes. <laughs> you know uh, because I uh, you know Agnes. Are you a human or uh, what are you? Yeah, human. I'm a human. Oh yeah, okay. You know, and so the, I sing a familiar human song that I know, and um, uh, so that it covers the sound of pee, wow. and I and I start to look around. Uh, I'll because, sing along with you. Yeah, I start to look around because now I want to see if I can tell if anyone's weak in any way. You know, any of the guards. Oh, weak. Okay. At at this point, with the singing, one of the guards is like, "Oh, they're already singing, man. They've crept under the pressure already, and they ain't been here longer than fifteen minutes." <laughs> what I'm looking stonework just to get a what? good sense of really how it's constructed. What kind of is it? Limestone. What kind of? Where, wait, what so am I rolling? Really working with it's uh, here. it's an excellent question, and because you are a dwarf, uh, Gavin, you know to, uh, that the cells you're in right now are constructed of the finest top shelf granite. No expense <laughs> was spared on this, although you will notice when you are examining the stonework, there is some graffiti in your cell, probably left over from a previous inmate. It looks like they had some very choice words. For the Baroness, but uh, they went through a bunch of different revisions. First off, it was the Baroness sucks, then the Baroness stinks, then the Baroness blows, and they've just crossed out each one. It looks like they couldn't decide what graffiti they wanted to go with. What was it written with? Blood or...? It's written with something. You're not exactly so, sure. It's a, cr okay. a I'm, crusty I'm not going to lick the words that are written on the wall just to be <laughs> on the safe side. There you go. Right. <laughs> so if Tom's making a an, an I have to roll something. Uh, yeah, roll, uh, yeah, roll me a stealth check. Why don't, don't you? Don't, don't roll yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna cast plus five on myself. I'm oh, gonna wonderful. cast guidance to uh, enhance that roll by one d four. Cool. So I'll basically be like, <laughs> although I do not d4? know you, sure, whatever you're doing is perfectly re after his peeing, which is the best part. <laughs> I'm sure whatever All you're right. doing is perfectly reasonable. So Aminata oh. will. Will uh, bless you in your way, so you can add um, three to that roll. Oh, you roll three. Okay, Amazing. so three. I have a plus five to sell, so it's plus eight. Okay. Oh wow. And I rolled an eleven, so nineteen. You pee so quietly and so stealthily. You perhaps pee more quietly than any person has ever peed before in the history of the world, and you have now gained one urine-soaked burlap sack. <laughs> Years of practice. All right. <laughs> What am I rolling next? Okay, roll up, roll a strength to see. Uh, oh, if I, have you can plus, I have plus nothing to strength. Here we go. Uh -oh. That sh Wait. probably should have been the one I gave you guidance on. But <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that, instead, I, I enhanced your urination. <laughs> <laughs> I throw all my points in dexterity and charisma. Which I'm oh, sure. 18. All right. Okay. So you go to town on these bars with your urine-soaked <laughs> sack, which are words I never thought I would okay, say. But I still don't really understand the urine part of this. Why did it you have to... It stops the burlap from ripping and keeps it strong. Well, I've learned something today. I don't know about the rest of you, but... Uh, <laughs> I expect to see that in the next IDW volume. Yeah, I'll get right on that. <laughs> can, can I ask a question? Are we each in individual cells yes. or are we all in a cell together you're all in individual cells you can see each other you're all kind of across uh from each other i will other share too. my urine so burlap with all of you don't worry okay um and i have another question um I i'm thinking about this baroness's name and uh you know i have uh, so many 
<laughs> blackouts in my in my past. Um, I'm I'm uh, I'm wondering if it rings any bells to me. Uh, yeah, she's a fairly well-known uh, character in these parts of the world. Not exactly liked, as I mentioned before. She made her money in weapons, basically. You know, she sells high-quality weapons to the highest bidder, and because of that, she's kind of been able to buy her way into the uh, autocracy. And uh, yeah, not not loved by a lot of people. Has a lot of enemies. Okay. All yeah. right then. All right, so yeah, you uh, you go to town on those bars with your urine-soaked burlap, and you manage to warp them just a little bit. You manage to put a dent in them, but the longer you do it, you realize that these bars are brand new, of the highest quality oh. iron imaginable, and you figure, yeah, that, that, that a woman who makes her money doing, you know, super weapons for everyone probably doesn't skimp when it comes to the metal in her prison. <laughs> uh, maybe we can do get help. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried that yet. So, uh, yeah, it? you're uh, you're just kind of hanging out there now. The uh, if you do that, that that kills a couple hours. Your singing gambit and your bar gambit, and uh, yeah, eventually the uh, the sun begins to set. And uh, do you do, do you settle into bed uh, for the night? I hang well, my burlap I'm... sack over a rail so it can dry out, and I can use it for a pillow. So I'm nervous as all get out because I don't understand why I'm here. So I'm basically just praying. And, and endlessly muttering to myself this list of grievances of things I may have done, but they're all really tiny things like forgot to pass the sugar kind of stuff. <laughs> like just does not understand how he could possibly have been imprisoned or right. for what reason. So. Well, I, well, Clive, here's interesting. As you particularly in the cell urine, as you uh, are ready to go no, don't down. Don't say urine. I know. I, just, <laughs> I, I caught it too quick. I'm like, man, you are in. Yeah. <laughs> you are in. Yes. As, as you're ready to bed down for the night, you, you realize something off into the corner of what you imagine would be the sleeping area of the cell, you see a big pile of colorful rags in a very strange shape, and no one else's cell has this. This is just yours. Oh, oh, I guess they thought I would need some bedding. How kind. <laughs> I guess I'll have to share it with the others. So I'll go over and I'll have a look in just the most naive friggin' way. Okay, so you go over to the pile, and the closer you get to the pile, the more human-shaped it becomes, and that is because this is not a pile of rags. Ah. These these colorful rags belong to a jester, a jester oh. who is not moving anymore, who is oh. ramrod stiff. And, oh, is he dead? Oh, yes, he is oh. very much dead, and uh, yeah, oh. yeah. But it gets a little bit more than that. Uh, you have to wonder, well, how could someone like this die in a cell like this and uh, your eyes are quickly drawn to his neck region where you see he has what looks to be an iron chain around his neck that seems to have basically crushed his throat but it's strange he clearly didn't do it to himself but that this is definitely the thing that killed him it looks oh. like it looks like he's wearing a very tight necklace that popped his head like a grape <laughs> well that's well that's awful i just um i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll um Oh, well, I'll sort of take one little part of the colorful scraps and just sort of put it over his head so that he's kind of doesn't have his eyes staring out mm -hmm. grossly with his tongue hanging out. And I just sort of pat on top and kind of, there, there, there sir, I'm sure wherever you are now, Almanader will, 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 will take care of you and bless your journey to the light and the, the, the law and kind places beyond our prime material plane. And um, whatever happens next, I'm sure you, you will get exactly what you deserve, but not this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I assume oh, all of our weapons son. and tools have been taken from us. Oh, yes. they uh, Classic prison rules. They took everything from you when you were brought. Just in. checking. <laughs> so um, I'll just sort of uh, uh, kind of get, give him a small blessing and and um, slowly back away from that part of the cell. Yeah. Just be like, um, do any of you have corpses in your rooms? Just curious. Do we? Corpses? I yeah, I check. I check my bed. I check my bed. Uh, besides, my room. The, besides the graffiti, everyone else's rooms seem to be mm. a okay. No, no clown corpses. <laughs> well, oh no man, y yeah, dude. I'm not saying 
It's it's um I mean that's a premium. Check his body. Maybe there's a key. Check his body. Oh, I doubt there's a key <laughs> to anything really here. Um I mean sure. So I'll kind of um I get I guess I'll grab does he wearing boots or shoes or anything? Uh yeah, he's got like big funny Harley Quinn boots. Of right. Course. I'll take one of the Harley Quinn boots off and uh, with the bell on the end of it, mm -hmm. and I'll just sort of poke him with it or sort of <laughs> lift portions up hey, to hey. Investigate. Toss me those boots. I want to wear them. <laughs> mm. Some nice boots. I'm I, well. I'm not here to steal from anyone. That would be a crime. <laughs> and although we are jailed, that does not mean we're criminals. What What are the guards Speak for doing? Yourself. Uh, they're just hanging out right now. They've got like thousand mile stairs going okay. on right now. I'm gonna, go right, I'm, gonna call I'm gonna go up to the bars. I'm gonna say, um, "Sir, do you have a name? Can I um, have your attention for a moment?" Oh, uh, yeah, I have a name. It's called Shut the Hell Up. Oh, Mr. <laughs> hell Up. Um, hell Up, we've got a problem here. See, they forgot to scrub down before they dropped me in here. <laughs> there's a, there's a, a previous occupant who had an unfortunate um, proclivity. And so <laughs> I just wanted to uh, see if that could be, um, if you could maybe give it a little, um, how you uh, put, take him to his proper resting place. At, uh, at this point, the two guards start laughing. <laughs> oh, yeah, old Jumbo the Jester. Funniest thing he ever did, I tell you. And I assure you, it was no accident. And then they go back to what they were doing. And I just sort of look and I'm just curious. I kind of go, no accident? Hmm. Well, if it is suicide, I hope you didn't intend quite a death like this, sir, because... You, I'm sure you are quite nice and 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 funny in your own way, and I'll do another little blessing for him. You, uh, it, the longer you sit there and the longer you look at the scene, definitely doesn't look like suicide. Basically, it looks like his necklace got too tight, mm. which is weird. Like he pr could not have yeah. done that to himself. It's so very, sorry, am I wearing a it? necklace? Are you wearing uh, that? Yeah. <laughs> it didn't want to take it off. Like, is it got any sigils or anything on it? Uh, roll me an Arcana check. I can do that. Probably not fantastically, but I can do that. Oh, not bad. Uh, 13. Okay, yes, this is most definitely some manner of magic item, though Ooh. you cannot place the school, and even then, this looks like something like, who who would design something like this? This looks like it was created by some sort of madman. Oh. Well, that's, well, that's, well, that's rather unfortunate. Um, <laughs> are any of you, do you, oh, never mind. Just sort of looking at it and just kind of creeped out by the whole thing. I'll I'll kind of sleep in the opposing corner there from from uh, Clown Corpse. Wonderful. I, I I I'm like uh, excuse me. Um, first of all, this is a very unhealthy, unsanitary situation to have a death <laughs> a, a dead person. You know, I expect my uh, especially from the Baroness with all of her money to have uh, uh, you know clean clean jail cells. Uh, uh, second of all, I'm hungry. Where's my crust of bread? Uh, you know, could you please uh, go up and ask somebody where our food is, water? Uh, you know, there are certain things that are uh, required, uh, you know, if you're just going to arrest people uh, without knowing why. I demand <laughs> to right. have answers. Uh, are, are you threatening or coercing? Because if it was a threat, I would say roll intimidation. If not, I would say roll. Uh, but what's the thing? If you want to convince again, what's on the tip of my tongue? Uh, uh, persuasion. Perform oh, persuasion. Yeah, yeah. persuasion. Oh, oh, I'm gonna do uh, intimidation because that's higher. <laughs> All right, go for it. <laughs> I mean, well, I'm no, I'm no fool. Go <laughs> thyself. Um, okay, so I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Oh, it's charming. I got uh, with my plus five. I get a twenty. Oh Whoa. wow! Okay, dirty twenty as we call Hot it. Damn, dirty the first dirty 20. twenty of the game. So Boom! This, I this... shake my cell thing, even though they don't move because they're so new and strong. <laughs> it's a madhouse, I... a madhouse. <laughs> Uh, th at this point, the guard, who is actually moved by your performance there, he just kind of <laughs> shrugs his shoulders and he goes, don't get paid near enough for this. And then he goes, and yeah, he eventually he leaves and comes back with your at all? Uh, shot of water, crust of bread, all the other stuff. And it's like, all right, eat up. And, and he, for everybody, right? Yes, yeah, for everybody. Okay. Oh, good. So when he comes to the thing, I'll go, did you, did you, is, could you maybe crust take bread, the other stuff. this body somewhere? Uh, oh, I, I can hear my voice in the background. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
That's all right. Oh, go ahead, monkey. Upstairs. It's all good. It's so is there um anything yeah. we could do about this body? Uh, that's above my pay grade there, cleric. You'll have to take it up with the warden. He comes in tomorrow morning. I the guess morning. we have to go to sleep. Do I have an opportunity when he's oh, oh he dropped out oh. a little bit there? Uh -oh. Uh, -oh. uh oh Troy, you froze for a sec. What'd you say? Yeah. Do I have an opportunity when he's bringing the food to me to grab him in any way as our armor? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're more than welcome to. Oh, good. Roll a uh, roll uh, strength, and I'll what roll could a strength. Possibly go wrong, and we'll see uh, who does better. All right. Well, we either wait for the warden or we break out, right? <laughs> I rolled a crit fail. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a win. <laughs> I rolled a 16. You go to try and grab this man, and he's clearly worked here long enough to know when people are trying to grab him, so he pulls out his truncheon and he smacks you on the hand really hard, and he ends up doing three damage to you. This is just like the regular... We're first level, so you're half dead now, right? So <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> right, yeah. The rats will kill us next, don't worry. Heads to yourself, prisoner. So when, Well, I'll just go take a long rest now. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> time um, for the yeah, exactly. Time for the long rest. All so, right. I'm hey, gonna, anyone can else? I call the any... guards over. If if I speak to the guards, can can my cohorts here hear me, or am I able to speak low enough that they can't? Uh, you're pretty close, so you would probably have to roll. There's no sleight of voice. I would say you'd have to roll a stealth to talk quietly if you don't well, want. I'm them just to gonna. Hear. God. Yeah. I need to speak to you. Please come oh. here. All right. <laughs> no funny business. Now I've, I've already tired out my smacking hand on the, the dwarf. No funny business. No funny business. What's the uh, name of the woman whose name's all over the wall? The governess? Is that uh, it? The Baroness Wall. Baroness. Baroness. G.I. Joe. Got it. Come here. All right. I'm here voluntarily. I don't know these other people. Oh. Me and the Baroness. Roll up. Uh, Me and the Baroness. <laughs> she get me out of here. She's going to be very angry with you. R roll persuasion with disadvantage. This guy's dumb, but not so dumb. <laughs> I have a plus four. I, have, oh, I, I put all my chips in charisma. Uh, 18. Four, 18. 14 plus with four. With disadvantage? Hot damn. No, no, well, 18 total. What's the disadvantage? No, so you get a roll again, and you take the lower of the two rolls. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> it's never that easy. Oh, natural one. <laughs> Not alone. Amazing. The guy, I'm, I was going to help all of you once I got out of here. But I think this is actually I am chaotic kind of, good. Oh, but but I know, think this I works good. for I think this works for your play if you know what I mean. That you get a a, a one. Yeah. But it doesn't work. It's a pretty it's a pretty far fetched concept. The, the guard very hilariously tries to humor you for a living. Oh, you work for the Baroness. You, oh, yeah. oh, no. you I don't work, work for the Baroness. Okay. She and I. She and me. Me and her. Oh, well, you can just take that up with her then tomorrow. And then he just walks away. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. So uh, I, I will say uh, after I, that. Oh, no, you got something else? Prop my pillow. I kick my legs <laughs> You assume up. you have a pillow. Well, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe, maybe it's the, maybe it's my cloak. Um, you know, whatever. I, I make a pillow. I fabricate a pillow, not through magic, just through whatever is there. And I the and song. I jump on my uh, on my bread and uh, I kick my feet up on on my bed and you know because uh, I can't get out and um, you know I'm just gonna lie down. Maximum comfort. All right. Maximum comfort. I will uh, go in the opposing corner to uh, the dead clown. <laughs> And then I will basically hunker down and do a quick little prayer. And in the midst of that prayer, I'm just like, and if I offended anyone to have this happen, please, um, you know, Al, Al Manada, please, please understand that it was merely a, a minor uh, infraction and probably isn't worthy of, say, a cursed chain uh, popping my head free of uh, uh, and killing me. Um, however, uh, if in your eternal lawful judgment you feel that this is appropriate, I'm sure we'll come to some kind of agreement in the afterlife and it'll all be fine. Um, <laughs> otherwise, um, uh, good night. <laughs> and I'll just sort of hunker down in the corner quietly. 
All right, then. So you all try and get, you know, as much sleep as you possibly can, given your circumstances. And the next morning, basically at sunrise, you hear the clanking of armor as uh, someone enters the prison area. This guy is nicer dressed than the other guards. You can probably safely assume that this guy is the warden. And, you know, he speaks up with a bellowing voice and he addresses uh, everyone in the prison area. And, uh, and oh, his voice is hilarious. Uh, All right, then, you silly little sinners. The time has come to answer for your crimes. You're all going to be hung from the neck until dead and probably a little longer. Oh, also, the wood planking is new, so watch your step. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want you to get a splinter on your toesies there now. Good, good. I refuse to be hanged, I say, Prince, until I know what Prince my so crime is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyone else have any comebacks? <laughs> um... I mentioned this yesterday, but I think I'll bring it up again. I think there might have been a slight miscommunication or mistake made in the uh, bagging and tagging. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'm curious um, who we would be speaking to in terms of the lawful nature of this uh, arrestification. <laughs> I signed up for the party. <laughs> at, uh, at this point, the warden there, he has a big old belly laugh there, almost like Santa. <laughs> oh, you didn't actually believe me about the hanging now, did you? Come on. That's, that's classic dungeon humor right here. You gotta do that in this line of work. We're not gonna hang you. You just got here. No, no. What we're actually gonna do to you is much worse. In fact, everyone come along. <laughs> So they bring us out of our cells? Yes, they bring you out of your cells. They reconnect you basically into the chain gang format. And they lead you down through the tower in to the castle keep itself. It's a large building. Uh, you see servants kind of avert their eyes and try and steer clear of you as they kind of walk you deeper and deeper uh, into the structure itself. And eventually at the end of your trek, you reach a large oaken door with elaborate designs carved into it. And on the other side, you see the throne room of the Baroness Walder. And oh, oh, this room is tacky. It is just, you know, a lot of shag carpeting and gold curtain rods and white marble statues, assuredly of this woman herself. And yeah, that, that is where you stand right now. Agnes, nudge him. <laughs> you and yeah. her? Talk. Oh, Talk. yeah. Yeah. Where's my Baroness? Get her over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why, don't you, why don't you sweet talk her? Oh, I'm gonna. Sweet talk, Agnes. Do Tons. That. <sighs> the, uh, the Baroness is at the other end of the room now, standing uh, basically by her throne. She's uh, an older woman with a lot of thick powdered makeup, red ruby lipstick, a resplendent gown with fur trim. And as you enter the room right now, she is holding a massive crossbow in her hand and using it to shoot apples and bottles and what have you off the heads of the members of her court. You see a lot of scared, well-dressed men and women literally shaking in their boots as this lady just shoots stuff off their head. And when she's done, pours a little wine, shoots another arrow, pours a little wine. She's having a great time. No, we're perfect. Like her. She's <laughs> like the Red Queen. I love it. I love her dress. I say, love your dress, lady. <laughs> she, uh, she, she she doesn't quite look at you right now because she's busy shooting, though slowly but surely she does uh, turn her head to you and address you. And uh, <clears throat> again, I got to remember what I decided she sounded like. Oh, yes, the a little witch of the West. Look, fresh meat in my chambers. Aren't you all just a bunch of filthy ragamuffins? You should count yourself lucky. Normally, anyone who breaks the law in my lands works themselves to death in the forge. But you... You for a special, I can tell. How how would you four like to earn your freedom today? I'd love to. We can start on the shared carpet. <laughs> Do you want it to come off? Because it comes off. What's what, what's wrong with the shag carpeting? She looks at her court. You oh, love it, perfect. don't you, everyone? <laughs> good, good. Um, I I you know I it's it's possible there's been some sort of a 
misinterpretation um, when I was, um, I mean, I was trying to to uh, pass out some charitable blessings, and all of a sudden, a few of your gentle persons uh, came forth uh, tr tr truncheonly and mm. and and smacked me about, and there was baggage and ropage and chainage, and I still am a little bit unclear what exactly um, this is all about. So, if you could elucidate and illuminate, we would all be. I, I mean, I would be. Um, that would be nice. So uh, her while eyes. He's, while he's waxing poetic, I'm looking, I want to see um, everybody in this room. Are they all like of the court or are there other chain gang member, like prisoner like people that, um, that she, like, do they look like court people or do they look like prisoners that have been dressed up for her merriment? Oh no, these are, these are definitely actual court people. You can tell from the lack of calluses on their hands. These people have not worked a hard day in their lives and uh, are just desperately trying to suck up to this woman. Uh, now, Clive, after your uh, little speech there, her eyes zero in on you, and she actually walks a little closer to you, crossbow in hand. Oh, so you're a holy man, huh? I I am. I uh, pray to uh, Almanatar, um, the, uh, uh, the, 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 the yellow god, the keeper of the eternal sun, the warmth of light raised down upon us in our uh, physical selves, um, blessed and spiritual are we all. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that lovely? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, Clive, was it? Yes. Here, here in my keep, there is no God in my keep. There is only me. People live and die because I will it so. In fact, she takes her crossbow and she shoots uh, one of the people in her court in the stomach. See? Look, God oh. didn't make that happen. I made that happen. Oh, I, I can, let me, um, I'll take care of that. And so I'm trying to pull my chains to get closer to the wounded person so I can heal them. Like uh, I'm the, like trying to crawl my way forward because there's someone hurt. And when someone's hurt, I got to do something about it. Uh, pe people do recognize that and uh, they definitely appreciate it. She snaps her fingers and moves her hand around and eventually two guards come and drag the injured person away. Uh, no, I could. I mean, with a little bit of sun, sun, sunlight, we can just scrub that right out. <laughs> oh, but your hands are going to be so filled again. I had a job for you, and I was really more telling than asking. So, would you like to know what you're going to be doing for me? D does does it involve healing? Oh, I'm sure you'll find something to heal along the way your types always do. I want you to get something back for me. A very important leather-bound book was stolen from me by a filthy, filthy little worm by the name of Phineas Wheeler. Yes, yes, he was spotted three days ago in the town of Snowcrag, a horrible little hive of scum and villainy. No, no self-respecting lady like myself would ever be seen in such a dive, but you four, oh, I think you'll fit just right on in there. I, I, I shake my, my, my chains and say, well, okay. you'll have to give us back <laughs> of our, you'll have to give us back our weapons, obviously, uh, you know, and uh, I'm always... I'm always, uh, I hate a person who doesn't return a book, you know, <laughs> um, or steals them, you know, um, uh, uh, even though I burnt it to the ground, I did have a, quite a library when I was growing up and that's losing all those books is something that really haunts me. Um, uh, <laughs> she, uh, she goes over to the wall at this point and there's like a big fancy portrait there, a whole bunch of them. And she goes to one in particular and rips off a little piece of it and comes back to you with it. Yes, this is the fellow right here, Phineas, dirty little halfling. Get back what he stole and all your crimes in these lands shall be forgiven. Once right. again, would like to know what we did. I I think we'll 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 it'll all come out in the wash. <laughs> You want to know what you did? You're guilty because I said you're guilty because I need something from you. Great. Oh. <laughs> well, that seems um, some. I mean, there. there That's is fair. A, if, if you if you are in charge, then that is a lawful um, thing in its own way, I guess. Um, um, yeah. So we, I mean, we, we'll we'll travel forth to this. Um, what is the name of the town? Snow Crag. Snow Crab. Got it. Got it. <laughs> got it. Okay. We'll go to yeah. the snow crab and we'll um we'll make sure this all gets taken care of for you, uh, with you, uh, for you in 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 a way that's um most most uh we'll get it done. 
That's oh, right. Goody. No, no. Crazy. <laughs> now, now, naturally, I just can't let you little birds fly the nest on you. Oh, no, you're going to have an escort. And she snaps her fingers again. And this time her court wizard kind of comes stumbling out of the back room. This guy, he's a half elf. He's got like yes. brown and white <laughs> filthy robes on him. Big, long mop of hair covering his face. And uh, dude smells like a distillery fire. You can yes. tell from here. Yeah, this guy. <laughs> Gavin's got a friend. Yeah, My this kind of elf. Yeah, d drunken court wizard, and uh, sh the Baroness introduced him. This is Rictus, my court wizard, and oh, oh, he has such wonderful ways with people. Show them, Rictus, show them what you do. At which point, Rictus, he pulls the hair from his face, and he kind of tries to stand up straight, and you see he pulls out a little wand from his sleep. All right, ma'am, yeah, I'm going to do that right now. And he moves his hands in a magical manner, and the shackles that bind your hands and legs begin to glow. They glow and shift and change. And eventually, uh, once they're done transmuting, they become necklaces around oh. your neck. Yeah, just like the one you saw before that killed mm. the children. Yeah, yeah. Rictus begins to st uh, start talking to yeah, you like these uh, new pieces of jewelry? They're uh, creations of my own ones, what got me kicked out of the magical conservatory. But luckily, the Baroness appreciates a man with my kind of vision. And uh, then he takes out a flask and starts drinking from it. Let me tell you how these little numbers here work. You piss me off, they get a little tighter. And every day at sunrise, I gotta retouch the spell. Because after three days of no retouching, your head pops. So be good now. So we're like some kind of suicide squad or something. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's it's just the Baroness is named Walder and the uh, warden was named Reeve, but you know. Mm -hmm. thing. <laughs> oh, so um, I see. Um, well, that all sounds very awful. Um, okay, I guess uh, Snow Crab it is then. <laughs> all right, follow me now. So uh, yeah, the uh. Court wizard starts leading you uh, through the keep once again to the stables where you have a carriage already waiting for you. And in the back is all of uh, your equipment that was taken from you, all your weapons and armor and everything mm. else. And he says, all right, you all know the drill. Get yourself all sorted up. Uh, he also throws you a map. That's how you get to Snow Crag. He then makes himself comfortable in the back of the wagon and starts draining his flask. You all be good now. If he dies, we die, right? Right, that's what I was just going to say. I was just going to say, I, I go up to him and sit down and inquire about the the rules of the spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And I, and, and, sing a nice song to make him feel like he can, nice. you know, it's like a sea shanty, you know? <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, I definitely trust that you all are going to play by the rules on this one. You could definitely try and kill me, but, uh, I mean, there'd be no one to retouch the spell after three days, so uh, y'all best take care of me now. And but uh, don't you have no, I'm more worried about his drinking. <laughs> I'm in a good place with that. <laughs> you a whiskey elf? Oh, you know. <laughs> you know? What kind of elf are you? What are you, what are you drinking? Uh, you, he, he smells like whiskey. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Oh, he's one of those moonshine elves. Yeah, moonshine. really. <laughs> From the backwoods of Faber. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're in the wagon. We're going towards Snowcrag. Uh, yeah, you uh, you're ready to go. Yeah, who's who's driving in this situation? Who took the chance to drive? I, well, I guess I'm up front because I said I was going to sit next to him and ask him inquire. Mm -hmm. So I'm I I'm I got the reins. Drive. Oh, he's uh, he's in the back. He's letting you guys drive. He's completely he's he's just a babysitter. He's just hanging out to retouch the spell if he has to. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm singing to the horses to make them uh, feel good as uh, as we go along the road. They do feel good, actually. You're definitely you're definitely right. doing your part there. I got, uh, I got the touch, my, my silver throat. All right, so you begin your trek to the town of Snowcrag. Uh, you've all been in the area long enough to know that once upon a time, this was actually a very successful dwarven mining community that uh, fell on hard times a couple years this. back when uh, all the ore... Yeah, exactly, you do know that. Know this. Uh, when all the ore dried up. In recent times, though, it's become a real port of call for gangsters and other assorted criminal types. Uh, as you approach the outskirts of town, uh, the snow begins to fall. Rictus awakens from his drunken stupor and uh, basically uh, tells you to leave the cart here and head on on foot. 
uh, best that he not be uh, seen in town and uh, also be good or lose your heads. Hmm. What time of day is it? Is it morning? Is it like how, what's, what's the clock? What's the ticking clock on day one for uh for this uh, necklace situation. It's a, it's a little before lunchtime right now by the time you get there from the keep. This is, uh, Snow Crag is up in the mountains, I probably should have said that. So yeah, it's a bit of ways away from the keep. The keep is more in the lowlands, you know, good mm. good real estate. How many days journey to the Snow Crag? Like half, like not even half a day. Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, yeah. all right then. So, so we many. will begin to track and I'm just sort of like, hmm, I'm, I'm really confused about the the legal system that that woman really puts together. It doesn't quite hold up at all. I that, thought about it quite extensively, and I think there's some flaws in her logic. She's crazy. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just, I'll have to get to the bottom of it at some point. And that Rictus gentleman, you know, if he's not following the rules of his, of, of his majely order, I just... That's very sad now that I think about it. <laughs> Just sort of tugging at my collar a little bit. It's very sad indeed. I'm not mm. like, like uh, Dulane is like super irritated at first, you know, and is like grinding her teeth. But then she kind of thinks that, you know, it's kind of sweet that uh, that Clife is, um, is just so... <laughs> so good and so naive <laughs> and um, because she, because she's got such darkness inside of her from her past that you know <laughs> at, like at any little shred of light it's like it's like it's like a little soothing so mm. so she um she she slaps his back you know it's, you're you're really good clife Aww. well i i'm it we're really all on a journey you know and so i don't think of it so much as 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 being good it's 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 an ongoing process we all have to go through it day by day we wake up and we make a choice we make a choice about whether we're going to follow the law and do right by other people and 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 make the world kinder or or less painful or, I'm gonna or put, less I'm gonna choking put, in, in, i'm gonna in, put in, that in some into area. some lyrics and i'm gonna sing you a tune <laughs> about about the road, the journey to goodness. <laughs> I'm really feeling a need to find a tavern right now listening to you two. So can we look around and see what, is there a bar nearby? Oh, I don't know that we have time for libations, my good sir. <laughs> oh, we're on a mission. Oh, I thought attack, we were walking. We're in the town? I thought we no, were No, we're walking to the town. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, I I thought we're, there. Wait we're, we're on foot? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Foot he parked your okay. That's, yeah, uh, he's, he's that's keeping the cart because he's a real jackass. Yeah, he didn't want to be seen with you. <laughs> so um, this. Oh, this, so he's in the cart sleeping. Yes. Here's what I think we need to do. We need to find this this that Finney, secure? this Phineas fellow, and 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 explain to him that this is just an, a big misunderstanding. And if he could return the stolen object, then we would all be better off, and and things would be much simpler. Very yeah, okay. true. Well, we're not, I'm, with, we're, I'm with Gavin. Gavin, uh, you find you we're find not doing any of bars. that. <laughs> Taverns, that's where yeah, you find that's, the information. That's where you information. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, funny you should mention that because as you enter the town, you see folks buzzing around for what you assume is probably their early lunchtime. The streets are set up in two rows with homes on one side, businesses on the other, and there's three main big businesses that stick out to you right now. There's the Cold Shoulder Tavern. So there you go. There's the bar you were looking for. The Uppercut Barber Shop and the Plenty of Provisions General Store. Oh. Well, we, we, should, we should probably question and ask if anyone knows um, um, Mr. Wheeler. And, and, and maybe we could find out his um, common, uh, um, what do you call it? The places where he goes. Sure. Over a beer. <laughs> Tavern. I, I mean, I am not against, um, you know, the need for a little bit of food. My stomach is a little grumbly, and um, that bread did not quite sit well. But, but I, just a quick, just a quick um, um, uh, brunch, and then we can move on with the day. How about that? When, when we're trying to get information out of people, can I ask you not to speak so much? Yeah, you need to always. I'm just gonna. It's it's okay. You're very nice. <laughs> right. I'm you just gonna. I'm gonna make that request now that I do all the talking. Agnes, we just we just have to keep him eating. It, it, if it's a holy yeah. matter, I would like to, to to have some input. That's just fine. You do all the healing. Let's let's get some spirits <laughs> for yes. the holy man. To the bar, please. <laughs>
Okay, so we're going to step into the cold, sh cold Shoulder Tavern. There you go. So you roll on up to the Cold Shoulder Tavern. You notice normally there'd be horses hitched outside. You see a couple horses, but more than anything, you actually see big black dire boars with saddles actually uh, all kind of tied up out front. That's very interesting that you notice that. Uh, when you enter the uh, main building itself, it's a rough and tumble two-story establishment with sawdust on the floor, uh, racks of game meat smoking on a nearby by fire pit. The chairs and stools are all covered in animal fur. Uh, off to the corner there, you see a small lime green goblin in suspenders darting back and forth, goblin. doing everything he can to pour drinks for all the thirsty customers. Oh, so we're going to step in and just sort of look around a little bit. Um, is the clientele mostly human or what's the sort of spread? There's a, <laughs> there's a nice little mix there. Uh, predominantly it's dwarven and uh, a lot of humans. They're like 60, 40 dwarven human, maybe like 5% uh, other. Uh, though you do notice something interesting about the dwarven folks here. Uh, they don't look like any dwarfs you've seen before. They're all wearing black spike leathered armor with a picture of an angry dire boar on the back. They also have uh, tons of facial tattoos and piercings and their hair are all cut into mohawks with like different jewelry in it and everything. Oh, they're probably worshippers as well. <laughs> so I'll just go walking right up. I told you it's a holy matter. I'll deal with it. I pull back. I pull him back. I'm just going to walk him right over to them. I pull him back. Shove a piece of bread in his mouth. That's what I do. <laughs> pull him back. What? And what? I have. A, I, I say something to my friends. I'm so sorry, uh, Agnes. I say something. Do we know what uh, what race or uh, species uh, Phineas is? Uh, yeah, he's a halfling. Human. You saw from the portrait. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Sorry. Right. And what? And the, there's humans in here. Oh yeah, there's humans here too. And are they dressed in S and M gear as well, or are we? What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, they uh, they look pretty normal. They look hard scrabble, but they look normal. Like affluent or just middle class, or what are we going? It's very on? working. This is a rough Salt town. Salt the earth. Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Although, Although actually, actually I'm feeling good about this. I, actually, now that you mention it, I, what's, I what's good on the menu? Oh, they got mead. They got mutton. They Crap. got grouse. I don't they even know what gross is. <laughs> they, I don't know what gross is, but they got it. What's the chef recommend? Uh, I, I don't know. Yeah, ask uh, the only guy who's I, I do. I do. We're hungry. We've been on the road and we've been in a prison. Like, I think we need some sustenance here. All right. So you approach the counter there. The little lime green goblin there is pouring drinks as fast as he can. Eventually, he does make eye contact with you and uh, he opens hey, his mouth. Osborne, get over here. <laughs> he opens his mouth and gives you a greeting and he says, Hi, hey, man, what's up? What's good on the menu? Ah, uh, uh, food. Food is good on the menu. We got all sorts of smoke stuff. We got drinks. How about Whiskey. this, grouse? <laughs> we would like, we would like the, the greatest assortment of your finest smoked meats. All right, you got to pay for that now? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any money? I don't know. Do we have any <laughs> coinage? Do we get money returned to us? Uh, you did get money returned to you, but less than what you came in with. At least oh, half of all your money is gone. Right, what do we have? What, like, how much, how much gold I'll, do I have? I'll say you each have five gold each on you. They left you with Oh, we're gold. rich. Yeah. All right. What is, so uh, while two, four, six, what's like eight to ten gold get me? Uh, I guess I can get you some drinks and I can get you a, a, a family bucket of mutton. A family bucket. Extra crispy. Because it's the only way I know how to cook it. I'm scrunch, by the way. <laughs> I, I wink at him and say, throw in another bucket and another pitcher. Roll uh, roll persuasion. Fancy persuasion. I got a 16. You know what, lady? I like you. You're like the prettiest lady who stepped in here all day. So I'm going to do that because, you know, Scrunch, Scrunch is just so very lonely. <laughs> and he goes back and he gets that to work. I give okay, him a so little wink. While Dulane's uh, making all that, I, that's my chance. I'm going to lean over to the dwarves because mm -hmm. they're all ordering food. <laughs> and I'm just going to be like, as a fellow holy man myself, I understand <laughs> the need to showcase your faith in the most obtuse manner possible. What god do you pray to, pray tell? <laughs> <laughs> what Can god? I just stop him? Sure. No, you're ordering <laughs> drinks. You guys are all ordering food and drinks. You're wow. now head at the bar. One of, one of the guys turns to you, Clive, and he says, God, no, no, no. We have no gods here. All I have is my brother and the boar. 
We ride hard. We ride against the Baroness and against all other authority. He just sort of looks over and he goes, so you you worship a boar god? Fascinating, fascinating, indeed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. So is this a a, a god of, of 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 free range or 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 tusks or 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 what? What exactly would you say is uh, encompasses your prayers and symbols? This this guy starts looking at all of his other brothers and they turn around and point to the symbol on their back and they're like, we are not a church, we are a gang. <laughs> Oh, oh, I see. Oh, gods of anarchy. How fascinating. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. That's that's wonderful. I shall pray for you. And I'll put I, a hand on his we, shoulder. Can we? No, yeah, we, don't elbow. touch him. No, no. <laughs> don't touch him. I elbow. Can we stop Gavin him from touching Agnes him? Yeah, and I can say, we gotta go. We, we gotta go get our boy here. So I'm gonna put a hand on his shoulder, and I'm gonna cast oh, yeah. Word of Radiance, and basically be like, "May all your rides be swift and sure. May the hooves <laughs> of your doors tear deep into the land to give you traction evermore." Okay, you do that, and the light actually fills his eyes, and you actually hear him explain, Oh my god, I have ruined my whole life. What have I done with myself? I should be dead in school. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he pulls the jewelry out of his mohawk and throws it down and just leaves. I'm going back to school. He's going to wash the tattoos off. Yeah, exactly. And all the other dwarf gangsters are like, What the hell just happened? I'm sorry. So I'm going to pick up his uh, piercings on the floor. I'm going to hold them up, and I'm going to go... Um, these are not mine, but if you could make sure they're returned to him, I would deeply appreciate it. And I'll hand it to one of the other dwarves. They, they <laughs> snatch it out of your hand and go back to their drinks at this point. This this shit got too weird for them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So okay, I'll go uh, up to the table for my drink. Bring it to me now, please. I need a drink. All can right. I, can, Wait, I can, can I talk oh, to the Grinch? Uh, oh, Scrunch, yeah, you can tell I talk to Scrunch. Scrunch. Grinch, come here, Grinch. <laughs> uh, I think I talked about David Scratch. Grinch is my cousin. He owns the other tavern. Yeah, sorry. Uh, he's a nice guy. Um, yeah, he's all right. What what can I what can you tell me about F Phineas and Ferb? <laughs> yeah, it, his eyes start narrowing then, at you, and he kind of gives you a look, and he's like, "What makes you think I know anything about Phineas?" Uh, he's very famous around here. He's a legend. I want to know all about the legends. I mean, he's famous because he works I'm for the- I'm going to write a book about him. <laughs> I mean, he's famous in as much as he works for the Baroness, which means he ain't exactly too popular around here. And Scrunch points one of his green fingers to the dartboard, and you see they basically created a Baroness in effigy that is filled with uh, darts from oh. the bar. Wait, well, so if we, if we nice. wanted to go get Phineas and do not nice things to him, everybody here would want to help us? I mean, I'm not saying anything, man. I wouldn't be a very good bartender if I was just like, you know, giving away secrets of people who may or may not be in here, man. Scratch, Scratch has a code, man. Come on. Okay. What if I wink and tell you how nice you look? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would make it feel all warm and fuzzy and everything. But I mean, I, I, I already gave an extra family bucket of mutton. So I mean, what, what, what do you want from me? <laughs> Grinch, Grinch, uh -uh. Grinch, Scrinch, Scrinch, Scrinch. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy. Scrunch is my know, brother. <laughs> Scrunch, you know. Let's, you know, uh, we, you know, all we want, we're just a simple troop of people uh, coming together to On try a to. On holy quest. To we're try just to a do, family musical act. To try to do <laughs> just <laughs> some harm to a common enemy. A blessed we just, mission. We just need. You know, perhaps a little, a little nudge, a little, a little help in the right direction. Yeah, if, if, maybe if you guys don't like Finn, we can also not like Finn. Exactly, we're working. We can do that for you. I'm sure we it's just, a, it just an agreement you. that we could all work out if we just sat down and spoke about our our common needs. I put oh, another. We we don't want him to talk anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna go to the bread. bar and I'm gonna be like, D dear sir. I, first of all. <laughs> Your particular greenish pallor is wondrously bright and cheery, nature-like. Do you have any sarsaparilla? Mutton in his mouth. <laughs> at, at this point, Scrunch just kind of sighs. <sighs> All right, you know what? You guys are quickly becoming bad for business, so I guess I better meet you halfway on this one if I want to get you out of my goddamn hair. Look, okay. 
I don't can't. say goddamn. Oh, I said it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say one way or another if he was here. Wink, wink. And if you want wait, any more. Wait, <laughs> am I clear that the, the gang of dwarves don't like him? I think they want us. To, he wants us to find someone named Wink Wink. <laughs> the those, <laughs> the those diabol riders, man. They don't like anybody. Let me tell you that way. Like I don't, I don't even like those guys. I'm how, supposed how to be. Paying, I'm supposed he, to be paying. How does that guy come in here and survive? Well, maybe he didn't look like himself when he came here. Uh, okay. Well, I wink look wink. <laughs> yes, wink, wink. wink. <laughs> I hear you, wink, wink. Is there anybody that looks out of place right now? Uh, everyone, uh, roll an investigation. Yes, rolling. I'm not rolling because I'm not investigating anything. Well, I, I, oh, jeez, Louise, that's a natural one. <laughs> uh, you you poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> well, oh. um, should I? Should can I? I'm looking around too. Yeah, absolutely. That. Sweet. I got a 17 plus whatever. All right, so uh, yeah, you got the gangsters. They kind of got which one I'm looking plus at. whatever in there. Love it. Uh, yeah. well, what 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 am I rolling for? Uh, investigation. investigation. So, so, so 17 is high enough on its own uh, to tell you what you need to know. Uh, yeah, you got the gangsters at the back. They kind of got their own table. They're like playing cards and knife games and everything else. You got the hard scrabble worker folk trying to make uh, whatever they can uh, in the mine with what little is there. Uh, you see a set of rooms up top where uh, people who stay the night uh, do their staying and sleeping and what have you. Uh, over in the corner, though, you do actually see one guy who looks like he does not belong, mainly because he's dressed much nicer than everyone else. He is a human. Uh, he definitely looks like nobility. He's got, like, a big red frock coat with gold trim and, like, uh, an ascot and everything. And he's just sitting at a table. He's got, like, a whole bottle to himself and everything there, and he's just kind of hanging out. And, uh, yeah. he Also, his table is the only one that actually has a tablecloth on it, which makes you think, did, did this guy bring that from home? Nice. All right, I just want to rewind for one second because I'm the one to roll that. It, what was the first table? Uh, uh, all the gangsters <laughs> at the back. The gangsters in the back. Okay. K Clife. Clife. Yes. Clife. Yes. Clife. Yes. There's a table in the back. Yes. I, I really think they need some enlightening. Oh. <laughs> did, Very much did, so. I right understand. now. First. Yeah. You or, go. I think you should go do that. Give, okay. them all, all, give them all the magic love that you have. No, no, no. It's not about love. It's about... It could be what, whatever you want it to be. Uh, Dulane, I need you for a second over here at this other table because we want to <laughs> stay away from you so you can do your, your magical holy work properly. Right. My so I'm going to win a fear. I'm going to pat Agnes on the shoulder and I will uh, <laughs> give. Um, yeah, wor uh, a word. Hold on. No. Yeah, more. I'll give you guidance again. So basically, the next ability check you make, you're going to get a plus 1d4. You're such a wonderful human being. <laughs> and then I'm going to wander <laughs> forth to the table and I'm going to say, Show me this wonderful. They're playing the knife game, you know, where they're yeah. going between the fingers. I'm going to be like, oh, Is this some sort of a prayer? And I'll just go over to the table and watch. So, again, they're kind of trying to pay you no mind right now, but you can tell they're getting like very, oh, very God. sick of this oh, holy man <laughs> within their general godless vicinity. But they, they let you watch, they're not messing with you yet. Okay. I was like, Captain Gavin, can you make sure he doesn't die? <laughs> yeah, I'll see what I can do, but don't take too long. <laughs> okay. So, cool. I'll, cast, we... I'll cast guidance on the guy doing the knife trick so he's really good at it. <laughs> oh, he's just killing it now. He's so awesome. And everyone's like, ooing and aahing at him. And I'm just I... going to look and I'm going to go, all you need to do is think about your proper place in the universe and everything comes together. That's how this works. That's why we pray. <laughs> think about my place in universe. Yes. And knife goes so much better now. <laughs> <laughs> You're slowly but surely converting this gang one person at a time. I gave um I gave Gavin uh, uh one of the buckets of mutton and also uh my uh the pitcher of uh, mead. Uh, happily, happily eating and drinking like a KFC <laughs> big meal boy. Here, you know? And I'm sharing it. with the gang as well because they're my brothers. Yeah, yeah, they're liking you a lot actually because yeah. you're a big tough barbarian guy. They mm -hmm. they warm up to you 
right away. And eventually, Gavin, uh, one of the guys, he's he's nicer dressed than the other dwarf bikers, but uh, he starts talking to you there. And he says, uh, new in town? I thought I knew all the dwarves around here. Oh, uh, you know, you don't know everybody. Right? Mm. I've been here I've been <laughs> a lot of places. You may see me, you may not. Uh, mm. Well, I'm working and I'm kind of a big deal around these parts. I tell you what, uh, you look big and strong. You ever looking for a little work, little security, little shakedown here and there? It, uh, it would be good, you know? Maybe maybe make a little money. Money, eh? Can I, I feel like, Jim, I feel like Jim's going to walk out of the front of this bar and knock over their row of horses. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's going to be a peewee's <laughs> so, uh, so, Agnes, do you have a plan? Agnes, do you have I, a I do plan? Have a pl I, I have a plan. Come with me. What's, what's the plan? Don't worry. I, I, my eye is still watering from poking myself in the eye. <laughs> okay. I, I'm got, I need you to be on point. Come here. So I'm ready. We walk over to um, we walk We're over ready. to uh, the, the guy. Fancy, fancy, the, guy, yeah. fancy, fancy tablecloth. Yeah. yeah right. There you go. Red okay. robe. Yeah. Does he recognize us walking towards him, or what? Does he react at all? He's, we, he's sort of like kind of easy going, kind of walk over. We're not. Yeah. Like, he's. Not he, like, he, He's in his bottle. He's in his bottle right now. He doesn't pay you a lot of mind. He kind of opens up. You feel like this guy's a major bar fly that he's been drinking here most of the day. Wonderful. Does he have anything on the table? Can I see? Does he have anything on the table with him, like besides the tablecloth, like books or anything? Empty bottles. Lots okay. of empty bottles. Any food? Uh, an empty plate. I've got Hello, the, bucket, sir. the other Hello. bucket, Wait. and I've got the other wait. bucket and the other pitcher, and I put it on the table in front of him. That uh, that makes him very happy. And he speaks up. Oh, finally, some good service in these parts. It's about time. I, I can see you look like you're doing better than everybody else here. Might we have a minute of your time? My lady friend here is very good at the singing and the dancing and the music. I start Ooh. to I start to 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 sing a, a cool song. Oh my! Can, can we, mind if we mind if we share in, in some of your drink and cheers to good times all around? Oh sure, why not? Hey, I'm large, large, on large, 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 By the way, sorry, my uh, Siri popped up and automatically. What the heck? <laughs> uh oh, it's a curse. I'm still sorry. singing. I'm still singing and pouring some some mead into a mug. Uh, He's, I uh, look over to, to I, I go like this to Gavin, who's. I'm I, having good bro talks with yeah. my with my homies. We're getting tight. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting the mob, they're they're yeah. loving Gavin. Gavin's a big. Oh, yeah. head. I'm just looking over the the knife ritual, and I'm going to say, so what is the end result of all this 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 rush of adrenaline? What does it make you feel about your place in the universe? <laughs> well, you know, first you stab, then you stab more, then you stab quicker. To also stab more. No, but <laughs> but it's a matter of it, the the rush that you feel on the precipice of pain, but not quite. Does it? Does it and the guy's doing the knife thing, so now I might end up distracting him, probably. Yeah, really. But I'm still talking. I go. So, is there? Do you think at all, or is it about clearing your mind, like a meditative <laughs> approach? Well, you know, mostly for me, it is to show how cool and masculine I am amongst my peer group. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. You gotta cause this guy to stab himself in the finger. <laughs> it's it, it, it also just, why that's I inevitable. Get tattoos. <laughs> is why it's I get all... tattoos and cut hair into Mohawk. It's sort of nodding and nodding. I understand these symbols to to align yourself with the group and to feel that you're part of a community. I think that's really powerful. I think it's very important. Say for myself, um, all of us on this holy mission are wearing these. Bing, bing, bing on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's oh, yeah. a sign of our shared um, commitment, if you will. Oh, oh yeah. I, 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 I wonder about that chain, actually, that are you, are you in cult or something? You are not the first person I see wear chain. Um... No, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a cult. It's more of a, a calling, <laughs> if you will. Uh, when this guy mentions the chain, though, the big boss who was talking to you, Gavin, he kind of overhears this, steps up, goes over to the guy playing the knife, taps him on the shoulder, and basically gives him a look that says, it's your time to leave now. And he actually gets up and he walks out. Okay. Mutton? Can we get back to <laughs> Bucket of Mutton? <laughs> sure. Yeah. We'll uh, we'll we'll, we'll uh, yeah cut back to you. So yeah, you're drinking with uh, Larchmont von Fancy Pants over there, <laughs> okay. and uh, he's drinking and laughing. You know, oh, this was ever so troll, I tell you. And I just uh, keep pouring more. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah into he, his cup. He takes a bite out of his mutton, and then you actually see he goes under the tablecloth and feeds it to two of his pets that are under there. This guy has two guard drakes. Oh. Under oh. Guard drakes? Yeah. Guard yeah. drakes. Wait a minute. I would like to do something. Mm-hmm. Sure. I have speak with the animals. So I, I would like to... I would like to speak with the animals, please. <laughs> All right, you you speak with the animals, and uh, which uh, which one do you want to talk to? There's a blue one and a green one. Mm, I'm gonna talk to the blue one. Okay, the That's blue one. The uh, the, I pretend the, I pretend that like I drop something on the ground, smart. you know, and uh, and then I just sort of dip under the table while I give you I give Agnes a little look to like you know cover for me. The chat is saying guard What's drake. your name again, sir? <laughs> oh, I'm Larchmont von Larchmont, of course. Of the Westbury Larchmonts. Larchmont von okay. Larchmont. There's a pizza place I love on Larchmont. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, sounds fun. Really good. <laughs> Larchmont Village. He's from Brooklyn. He moved out to L.A. It's where I go to get all the good pizza. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> so what do I do? Do I roll? Do I yeah? Uh, do I roll for this? No, yeah. You, you can no, just do it if you got I a question just, for the Drakes. Ask. Yeah. Them. Okay. Let's see. What's my question for the Drake? My question for the Drake is: uh, um, Is your master uh, is is the name of your master Phineas McFurby, whatever? Uh, <laughs> and um, uh, you know, and where is where 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 is the library? Where does he keep his books? <laughs> uh, the blue guard Drake kind of looks to you for a little bit surprised that someone is talking to him and that he can understand and eventually opens up and uh, says, <laughs> Nah, Phineas, never heard of him. <laughs> now nah, my guy's Larchmon. Feeds me lots of scraps. <laughs> Let's me attack guys who mess with him pretty great. <laughs> can I press about the books? What's a book? <laughs> I'm a Drake. I don't know what that is. Are you going to feed me? Are you going to walk me? <laughs> See, you, you've now learned you can talk to animals, but most animals are pretty dumb. God damn it. Um, so, I give him a piece of mutton. Ah, you're pretty great. Yeah. So, Mr. Lachmutt. Yes? How come you have such a nice tablecloth and nobody else gets nice tablecloths? How do I get a nice tablecloth? I mean, it's uh, I'm very jealous that, like, you've got this big spread and the tablecloth and all the bottles and everybody else is, like, tattooed and spiky hair and doesn't know what they're doing in this place. Oh, well, you know, I was born well into high society, into the Baroness's court and everything, but I'm, I'm just not like those people, you know? I'm not so high for The Baroness's court from the other town. But, uh, yeah, it's all in the same area. This is all part of her fiefdom, basically. Oh, okay. So the Baroness also owns this place. Well, I'm new yeah. to town. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's all part of the Baroness's fiefdom. She's not exactly liked here or anything, but I, I like to hang out with the people. I like to drink. I like to get into the odd scrap, uh, and now I can get away with it. <laughs> so are you like the nobility here? Are you the mayor? Uh, I mean, not really. This is kind of a lawless place. It's a Vorkin of the Black Boar Riders. Uh, right. they fancy so so you and the Baroness must be tight. You guys are close, yeah? Oh, God, no. I'm the black sheep of the court. Do you see what that lady oh. does? She shoots the apples and bottles off people's heads. That's just oh. crazy. I'm sorry I to hear that. Did you experience that personally? No, but let's just say I had a younger brother. <laughs> oh, oh, had, huh? Oh, I'm sorry uh, to hear that. Yeah, he was a jerk. <laughs> Nothing's more important than family. <laughs> oh, I, I've got my two drakes here. They my family, and he just feeds them a little more. I dip back under the table since uh, my talking to animals uh, lasts for 10 minutes. I assume that I still have it. Yep. Yep. Uh, and I, I now say to the, to the same drake, um, uh, where's your cage? And where does that? Where does your? Where does your master uh, sleep? <laughs> At his own place. He's got a fancy place. <laughs> we just hang out here, start fights, drink. It's great. <laughs> how? How many? How many? Fight. How many? Uh, how many pieces away? How many? How many flaps of your little wing? Yeah, uh, no, he's got like a driver. <laughs> oh, okay, he's got a driver. Mm. I pop back up. What's the shooter? Now, uh, now with your conversation you too. Uh, but okay. Uh, your conversation too, Agnes. Again, he he starts to like you the right. longer you hang out. You get the feeling no one else here actually listens to this guy's stories because he's so yeah. unlike them. He eventually does open up. Oh, you know, I used to be in the Baroness's bad book for a very long time, but well, let's just say uh, she's not thinking about little old Larchmont anymore. Not not after what went down with Phineas. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a funny yeah. saying where I'm from. Sometimes we say the bad book and we just mean like you know in the bad book, but sometimes it's an actual book. Is yours yeah. an actual book? 
I mean, I'm sure she has a book somewhere of all the people who have wronged her and or want to kill her. She keeps all sorts of books. What would you do with a book like that? Is it magic? Ah, I mean, I think it's more sentimental than anything. You know, I, I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but Phineas, I hear he's on the run, actually. The Baroness finally had enough of him. Oh. He was an integral, an integral part of her operation, you see. Yeah, he, he sounds he, like a rascal. <laughs> tell me about it. He, he designed the weapons that the Baroness sells. He was, uh, he was a top guy for the longest time, her absolute favorite, part of the family. Yeah. She painted him into yeah. portraits and everything, and then one day, just up and ran. <laughs> oh, what did he, what he, what did he run? Was he going to get an apple shot in his head? <laughs> I mean, who can tell? Personally, I think he came down with, oh, what's that horrible disease that people catch sometimes? Morals. Yep, that's the one. Oh, uh, it's the oh, worst. Oh, yeah. so he's a man. He's become a man of faith. Yeah, he's a good guy, huh? Did someone say faith? <laughs> no, yeah, you can't hear us over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not quite sure John about Paul faith. A second. <laughs> I wouldn't call Phineas a man of faith, but I mean, maybe the Baroness just finally pushed him too far. Working that close with that woman, I mean, could happen to anybody. Though, Understood. Though from so what, what I you... understand, they were, they, Baroness was indeed pushing him for a new breakthrough in weapons technology. As you can tell, she, she loves her crossbows and her catapults and her battering rams, and he was really, really getting pushed to build something new and crazy. Uh, can, like, can I just... Like poison on a sling, yeah? What Ooh, the, that's what we call it at home, poison on a sling. <laughs> what were the three buildings that were the big buildings? It was the the, the 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 general store, the tavern, and the what? Barbershop. The barbershop. Yeah, barbershop. It's where everyone gets their mohawks. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> and, and, and because it's times, probably <laughs> dentistry, too, and like that's every right. other assorted stuff. So uh, it, when, when uh, the Baroness and this Phineas character, when they split up, what would, he, what would he have done to hurt her? Like, I mean, I don't understand. Well, he probably uh, decided that he didn't want to build anything for her anymore. Probably took off knowing that uh, he might get killed. Oh, Just that's take terrible. Just rejection well, the Baroness. Uh, would she chase him down? Oh, certainly. She would go to the end of the earth to get him back. She, she feels like she owns the little guy. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. To get him back. I mean, if you love something, you set it free. Oh, yes, I very much agree. <laughs> I've let many free <laughs> as yeah. he just drinks more. <laughs> Understood, sir. Understood. Yes. And then what happened? Well, that was the end of my plan. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted information. <laughs> we got a lot of it. <laughs> and that was the end of my plan. <laughs> I mean, it's two straight to the table. Uh, will kill us because yeah, we're level I mean, one. I so like, like, we can't do anything to him. You yeah, know? I feel like uh, I feel like I'm interested in the fact that he has a driver. Uh, it, how drunk can we get him? Can we get him so drunk that he has to call what? for his driver? Oh, he's uh, he's huh? super smashed right now. Like uh, again, in a couple more minutes, at the I'm rate sorry. he's drinking, he's going to just fall. Playing a Dungeons and Dragons game. I know, but where are you? In I'm place? winning. So in first place. <laughs> Um, yeah. we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, I'm gonna get him so drunk that he has to, that he has to call for his driver. Okay. Cool. You, uh, wait, you, our boy, our boy Phineas, he's not there yet. <laughs> no, oh. he's not. This isn't Phineas. This is, uh, Larchmont von Larchmont. Larchmont, Larchmont von Larchmont. Yeah. I don't uh, think, it, I don't think it's Phineas. I think it's really Larchmont. Well, no, I thought, what, I thought, what. That's what the Grinch said is like he's here just in disguise. And then Dungeon Master Joel yeah, it, it, described it, in great detail. It's, well, it's hard to understand. By himself at a table in the back. With, with Scrunch's voice, he basically <laughs> said that, you know, he couldn't tell you if he was here or not, wink, wink. But if he was here at one point, he didn't look like himself when he got here. Right. Hmm. Hmm. So that he seemingly did something to doctor his appearance before he got here and dealt with any of the bar people. Wink, wink. And what, is, and what does doctor, what does Larchmont French Larchmont look like again? Uh, he's just a human. He's just like a rich douche, basically, hanging out there. Okay. Wink, it. wink. It's Scrunch. We're barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> You're right. Because they're both the same size. The bar. And wink, wink. What better place to hide? Than in plain <laughs> sight. Yes. <laughs> Do you go back and question Scrunch again? Oh, no. Yeah, well, first I go grab Clyphon. Well, I think Dwayne is 100% correct on this. I have to agree. <laughs> I grab Clyphon Gavin. I'm like, come on. Wait, do we? 
<laughs> they really start looking, looking what, till we need them till we're hits? dying. <laughs> I was just watching the knife game, just fascinated by this. I want Where's I it? want Clive to to talk morals with the with the with Scrunch. Okay. Mm. I'm a, okay. Is, is there someone who needs some sort of guidance? I'm here. Scrunch. Yes. You know, you know, uh, not Scrunch, uh, Clive. Uh, you know, uh, no, Clive. I'm talking to Clive. <laughs> so many names. <laughs> so many yes. Names. Sorry to Clive. Clive, as we're walking back, I'm like, Clive, you know what it's like when you've done something bad, but then you turn a corner and, and, and. I've and never you... done a bad thing in my entire <laughs> life, except for that time I forgot to, for, I, I didn't pass the salt but and I didn't have enough citrus. But that but definitely was not. But yes. you've ministered to people who have uh, yes. sinned, and you have helped them yes. to see the light, and yes. you have helped them if uh, you know perhaps if somebody had a book full of a uh, of, of 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 enemies of um of 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 people's names, right. uh, yes. you know, uh, you know, uh, you know that that they could turn over to good to to to, to do some good, uh, you know, perhaps uh, you know goblins uh, they seem like they're bad, but maybe they're good. I feel like you and Scrunch have a lot. In common, go think, ask for some it, more do you, mutton. Do you think his soul heavy with with um, regret? I believe so. Look where he is. He's a he's a he's a goblin uh, running a tavern. <laughs> I'll talk to him about it. All right. So I'm going to go over to. Uh, he regrets everything right now. <laughs> going to go over to Scrunch and Scrunch. just sort of say, "I regret it." <laughs> so, kind sir. How about that sarsaparilla? Scrunch just starts rubbing his eyes at this point. Oh my god, are you guys still here? Seriously, every moment you are here, there is going to be a massive bar fight, and I am going to lose so much money. Look, look, okay, look. The guy you're looking for, he was here, but he did not look like himself. Now, where where would we go if we wanted to change our appearance? Oh, I, look and I go, you have to go to the barbershop. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. All right, now get the hell out of my bar. All right. So I'm going to step forth. I'm going to say, I'll be back later. And that we'll was talk very about obvious. the weight upon like, your soul. <laughs> I just want to talk say, about the weight upon your soul. I feel like I had a I had a good thought there. It was a good uh, I went down a good road. I think I think you were correct. And, and yeah. at the end of the day, we may come back here, and he may still be the guy. Exactly. I've been making good with the dwarves. I've been trying to get in in the knife game. Oh, they they love you now. You have a vest now, and you have your own tattoo. <laughs> yeah, Gavin's in the clothes comes out. <laughs> He's got the yeah. walk. They have fully adopted you into their gang. You've just made great friends. You, you have actually learned a lot, Gavin. You know that the Black Four Riders pretty much run this entire area. There's not really much in the way of, like, guards that they can't pay off. They are very much anti-Baroness. They see her as the authority, stepping on them and everything. They they love their Black Dyer boars that they ride around. And their leader uh, was the dude with the big red mohawk and uh, more jewelry than everyone else. And his name was Vorkin. And would anyone loan me a boar? If I had a question a boar. Uh, what is it? Roll a uh, persuasion and see if it happens. They just might. 13. One of the drunker dwarves are like, hey man, look, I'll tell you what. I've known you for the one, two, two, two hours. You're like a brother to me, man. I tell you what, you you head on up to the abbey and you can get one of the little dire boar piglets, man. You you raise it up <laughs> good, man. You're, you're a good you're a good dwarf gavel. Good good gal. And then he just falls asleep. <laughs> I'm giving me a boar. <laughs> little piglet. Yeah, got a pet. Every team needs my, a pet. I'm gonna get a little piglet. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna grow that piglet. I'm gonna ride that piglet. <laughs> We can feed it to the Drake to make our escape. <laughs> if you have to. So, uh, yeah, you, you, you uh, I assume you're leaving now because you have a lot of information in your hand. Yeah. Right. Yes. I know everyone's I feel like, really I need all my hair cut. Shop, but I, I need to go get a pig. I think we should do the pig thing first. <laughs> the pig thing? Do the pig thing first. I mean, if I have a pig. When people say that, that we're a prominent union, it usually means something else. What do you mean? <laughs> It's a, it's a boar. It's a, it's, it's I mean, small. It will grow big and be fearsome someday. Okay. And I think we can use it to our advantage, possibly. It's not going to take that long to get a pig, right? I mean, you don't know. I guess you'll find out. Do, do you want to go get the pig? I mean, I, I would never recommend splitting the party. <laughs> no, we'll all stay together and get the pig. We'll humor you. Right. Is, 
Ride or die. Okay, so uh, the, the drunk dwarf in the bar <laughs> told you to go to a place called the Abbey, which uh, up on the top of the hill. The Abbey? The Abbey, yes. Yes, oh, absolutely. Oh, wonderful. Let's go. <laughs> oh, 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 Clive is probably the most disappointed when he actually sees <laughs> But the abbey is it's on top of a hill there's like a bunch of like uh razor wire fencing and everything all around this place at one point are this they protecting place, it uh, yes and no you get the feeling at some point this probably was an actual legit temple to uh the dwarven forge god uh back when the town was booming but now it has fallen into serious disarray stuff is falling off it uh, there's like dust and cobwebs, and it basically looks like the Black Boar Riders have taken this place over, and this this is their base of operations, essentially. And uh, when you walk inside there, uh, you see a little pen, and the pen is filled with uh, little dire boar piglets, and oh, they're so cute. And he said you could have one. So I'm going to wander for us. I, I have Wait, it's a, it's a baby? Oh, yeah, there's like a bunch of piglets there, a bunch yeah. of dire boar piglets that I guess have been born just recently. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna walk over to uh, whoever is sort of running this thing, and I'm just gonna be like, "Hello, hello, anarchist worshippers! <laughs> it is my absolute pleasure to introduce you to my uh, new friend, Gavin Girth. He has been directed to come here and take one of these small porcine objects for David, himself." David really? told me. Can have my very own piglet. I just we're like brothers. We've been drinking together for hours now, almost. And he's, uh, I mean, he's we given me a piglet to come and choose for my very uh, own. It's a big I, tub. You're, you're, you're mistaken. He said you could have two: one for the pet and one for breakfast. There's, that, there's a big tough woman there who's uh, manning the pig pen at this point, and she looks at you, Gavin, and goes, "Yeah, that certainly sounds like David. Oh, he's giving away pigs when he's too drunk. Well." I guess I gotta honor it then. Here's one for you. And what what did you say? There was two. I don't know. Two. Man. There's supposed to be two. There's supposed to be two. Oh, supposed no. to be Roll persuasion. Roll persuasion. Oh, I'm very persuasive. <laughs> Indeed, you are. I got a ten, but I'm plus four. Okay. Uh, all right. I guess you can have one of the smaller <laughs> sticker ones. Yeah, that's okay. We it's all right. It won't live very long anyway. All right. There you go. So yeah, you leave. <laughs> Two piglets richer than when you got here. Cheers. Benji, no. my little piglet Benji. Aww. Don't worry, breakfast is on me. <laughs> I don't think Are that was an abbey at all. Or he just walk with me? Will he, does he know? He's a, he's big enough he can walk up beside you. He with me, he doesn't need to be on a leash. Oh, yeah. yeah the, no. the, the, the bond. We'll, we'll, make, we'll make sure to, to, to go out of our way to keep him alive so you can ride him into battle in 20 years. If I have any mutton left, I would like to provide <laughs> mutton to Benji. Oh, he he, um, he loves it. The the bond is, love is true. Yeah, this is good. This is good. There you because go. Okay, guys, barbershop. Let's. Go right here. Oh, I was gonna say since I still probably uh, it, in that ten minutes maybe had speak with the animals. I tell Benji that Gavin is a what from what I can tell a good guy. Yay! Yeah, Says don't Benji. Say anything I got to the other pig because he's gonna die. I do, I, do, I do not speak to the other pig. At my at my hand in the morning. <laughs> what? What? How, how big is Benji now? Is he an actual threat? Or would he do any damage on the command? He's uh he's about like he's about the size of like a couple month old. You can actually hold him like a baby okay. if you wanted and swaddle him in oh. your door. It has teeth. And that sounds delicious. They're, they're definitely coming in, and his tusks, he's got he's got cute little nubby tusks that will mm -hmm. definitely be able to tear a man a new one in a couple years' time. We'll work on that. Yeah. 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 Nice. So we're heading okay. towards the um the now barber shop doing? now, as we're as yeah. we're all, you know, sort of scr scruffing uh Benji's little little head. Yeah, he's so know, cute yeah. though. Scratching he's it. You know? Yeah, and this we're neglecting the other one so he doesn't feel loved. We don't feel bad when we ask him. And and uh, this is also uh, providing some uh, some much needed camaraderie between the four of us that we will yeah. need for our um, future battle. I'm sure it'll be weird to raise one and then eat the brother. Mm. <laughs> true, true enough. Neglect just makes it tastier. You know how this works. Mm, yum yum in the top. <laughs> I must taste delicious. Uh, you enter the uh, uppercut barber shop and uh, you're greeted by a wooden interior and uh, smells of rich oak. Uh, up in the corner, like literally in the banisters, you see an Aarakocra, uh, a white uh, 
Uh, it's a it's it's a bird person. It's a bird person from D and D. This is my really nerdy pull here. I don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I just Jim, thought, did you know I, about that? I don't. I, I knew what it was. I probably was pronounced. <laughs> Sorry, I, I put that solely for Jim. He's he's yeah, an okay. Arctic owl man who's literally yeah. hanging out in the rafters like an owl Got would it. be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just sort of looking around, I go, "Well, this is quite a delightful." Naturey sort of interior. I love the smell. It reminds me of um. Oh, I was on this pilgrimage last oh, year, shit. and when Here we were in the forest, <laughs> it was this delightful smell. It was, it was sort of like this. Anyways, um, we're looking for a gentleman. I'm going to sort of uh, inquire with the staff. Uh, we would just like to meet the proprietor of this establishment, if you'd not mind. Uh, you uh, you mention the proprietor and you hear the flapping of wings as he literally comes down, does a little superhero landing. Uh, oh, it's the, the giant scary bird thing. Yeah, right. this, is, this is a bird man. Yes, he's he, he's wearing like a your talons. Please. How many how many people are in here? Uh, okay. There's like a receptionist at the front and then the guy who actually looks to be running the place. Okay. All right. All and right. the bird man. Yeah, the the, the, the bird, bird man, man introduces himself to you. Oh, hello, hoot hoot. I'm Offy. <laughs> <laughs> So, so happy to have you here, Hoot. That's just uh, that's so perfect. <laughs> what, what are we going to be doing today? Maybe a maybe a cut, maybe a die. Maybe a cut with a yeah, I could use a shave. Oh, maybe. everyone does mohawks around here, of course. I swear, the only yeah. people Hoot, that I see, well, sit in the chair. Yeah. And all. Yeah. Has anybody has anybody ever asked for something other than a mohawk? Well, yes, actually, just recently, Hoot, a little yeah, fella really? came on Tell by, me. wanted Tell wanted the works. The a, works. What's the works? Oh, a cut, a dye job there, beard mm. trim. He, he told me he wanted to look like a completely different person. I got the feeling <laughs> what that he was putting over. What color hair? Oh, blonde, of course. I told what? him it didn't really work with his skin tone, but you know, cat, cats win them all, Hoot. Oh, he's a... I know. Uh, was it green or was it peach? Yeah, mm. was he ruddy? Was he... De definitely peach, you know, just mm, didn't, didn't like it. But you know, hey, you know, custom's always right. I love, I love a man with facial hair. So, just wondering, what kind of, uh, what kind of action did you do? Was it a, a you know, a, a swashbuckler kind of situation, or a big mountain man, or you know? Oh, I gave him the old Van Dyke, you know. <laughs> ah, the old Van Dyke, a good standby for a man. Dyed as well, blonde, dyed oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yes, yeah, I like mean. It has what to about match. The teeth? What about the teeth? <laughs> Did you remove or uh, put some in? Or some veneers? Some silver? Ah, uh, you know, I I did a bit of cleaning, by which I mean I I, I dusted them a little bit. Very, very dusty teeth, you know. Real real bad condition amongst the halfling community. I don't understand it myself. Yeah, I saw that guy. He calls himself Fillin, right? Uh, Fillin? Fillin? What was his know, name? I, never I met him. His name. I never got his name, but I actually, met him at the bar. You know, interestingly enough, it's it's while he's doing your hair, Gavin, he's actually looking at your neckline and he sees the chain. Oh, are you friends of that fellow? He had the exact same chain. In fact, in fact, he gave it to me and he pulls it out of his pocket. Yes, isn't that lovely? Oh, yeah, yeah that's the guy. Yeah. What's his name again? What did he oh, go by? I never got his name. Real, real cagey fellow. Really didn't want to tell me anything about himself, but, but he gave me this nice chain as a tip, which, you know, I don't normally get tipped around here. Normally, those black ball guys just punch me in the guts. I'm just going to give you a piece of it, free advice because I'm chaotic. Good. Don't put that around your neck. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, I, I mean, I was going to hawk it over at the provision place, but uh, yeah, all right. So yeah, I'll take you know. a. Can I? May I? May I have a look at that um, little item, if you if you don't mind? Oh, sure, go for it. So I'm going to look at the chain. Is there any difference between that one and ours? Uh, yes, it doesn't seem to hum with the same magical energy, and also it's literally been cracked on the side. Something has actually broken the chain. Hmm. Yeah. Was he wearing it while you um uh while while you were uh, uh, uh you know uh, doing him over doing his uh makeover or um or or um or 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 did did it did he did he take it out of a pocket or something? Oh, definitely had it in the pocket. Looked uh, looked like he was doing a whole uh, tour of the city, actually. there, He had a lot of mud on his shoes. I had to have my assistant clean it all off and everything. But yeah, I did his hair up. He was a little jumpy, a little cagey. Uh, I know. Could... I, think, I think he's my second cousin you met. Did he Finn, ask? Right? Did Finn, he ask where my second he could... cousin. Hmm. Did he ask where he could sleep or? Oh, I, I, mean, I mean, I mean, I... 
I mean, I assume he probably got a place uh, over in the tavern there, Hoot, or maybe he was camping out. I mean, uh, the provision place has all sorts of things for the camping individual. Was he by himself? Yes, actually, very much, which, yeah. which is strange, little guy like yeah. that here in Snowcrag. He, he, my, my, my cuz does stuff like that. He's crazy. Well, they are but small was... and furious, though, so, you know, yeah. those little halflings. Yeah. They're hard Can to I get control. a hot towel? Because I'm feeling I could use a hot towel on my neck right now. <laughs> <laughs> the hottest towel is ever, Hoot. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Yeah, come on. Any, you got you to be better than sports guts. You know, Can we pump him <laughs> for anything else? Let's see. What else do we need? Okay, I think we need to check out the provision place. And I think maybe we need to go back and ask Scrunchy whether or not he rented one of the rooms. Mm. I think we got to go to the provision place. All right, so uh, that's got to. Or I, we I mean, could split up and we could things, do both at the same time. <laughs> now, you know, you know what, Clive? I like having you around me sometimes. You know, like it makes me feel safe and holy, oh. and well, you can I, feel I me I'm, I'm and make sure I don't go down that dark, chaotic path. A that's in my alignment. presence. That's really that's why perfect. I want to be yeah, here. I, yeah, yeah. Because if you go off on your own, sometimes I feel like I don't know. You're just gonna go heal somebody. I mean, that is what <laughs> I hope to do. As much as possible, really. Yeah, but I don't want you to heal them physically. You might try and heal their soul, and that can be bad for us. Healing the soul? <laughs> I mean, our souls are constantly in a state of flux. We must constantly shepherd ourselves against sin and difficulty. And that is my weakness and why I need you with me. Oh, okay. You're my rock. Well, that's very kind of you, sir. So I'll put a hand on your shoulder and cast guidance again, and then we'll head forth to the provision store. But before we go, I want to ask too. I said, what kind of pack did uh, did this debonair halfling have? Oh, it looked like a pretty big pack. Actually, it mm. looked like he was planning a big long trip. Big long trip. Did he have to take any books out? Yeah, was he like reading books. while he while you were? I mean, look, I'm I'm a lady. I've done my hair many times. I know I know how long uh, it takes to bleach. Bleach uh, dark hair like his, uh, you know. So, um, so you know, but did he? Did he? How did he pass the time? Did he have a book? You, you know, it's funny you should say that. Actually, Hoot, he was indeed scribbling in a little book. It didn't much make sense to me. A lot of charts and graphs and ideas and everything seemed seemed like a real smart guy, real real thinker. And that we don't get many of those around. Yeah, he's here. a real cartographer. How big was the book? <laughs> oh. About the size of a regular book, brown, leather bound, brown, and yeah. everything. Did eight and a half by eleven, A four, A five. What do you think? <laughs> did, did, he, did, he, did he rip any pages out? Perhaps throw any in your trash? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you're more than welcome to dig through my trash if you want. I dig through the trash. <laughs> All right, you go dig through a lot of dwarf hair, some fingernails, some rotted teeth, and eventually right. you do find at the very bottom a wadded up piece of paper. Yes. <laughs> I opened the piece of paper. All right. So it's got a very nice penmanship on it. That's for sure. And uh, it looks like someone was writing a letter like several times over, but kept crossing it out because they were unhappy with what they wrote. And it basically ends uh, up like saying, uh, <laughs> it, it basically says, you know, I, I can't take this anymore. I can't do this anymore. We said we were only going to be selling weapons for a short amount of time. And then we were going to actually try and make the fiefdom better. But you've, you've gone too far this time. What I've built, it truly scares me. I'm not going to let you turn it on Snow Crag or sell it to any other despot. I, I'm getting out of here. I'm gone. This is the last you'll see of me. Signed, PW. Uh, Great. Uh, Lover's yeah. quarrel. It hits you right here. It definitely kind of feels right that here. way, actually. Like you're not far off, actually. Yeah. It's not you, it's me. I get it. <laughs> well, this is so good. how is my hair going? Is, do I need any this kind of good. product to go with it before we leave? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, I've, I've got a lovely leave-in conditioner. It's made from oozes. <laughs> and, and how yeah. much uh, GP now is this going to cost me? <laughs> and I want to kind of try to cut a deal because obviously I have influence with the gang. Mm. Um, <laughs> so you, you need the woven like beard. Oh, yeah. that's right. Big mustache. Yeah. Yeah. Walrus you like mustache. Beads and beads in your beard. Oh, yeah. Do we have time though? <laughs> no, well, I mean, mean, these things are gonna crush us. Like you know, in three days, we gotta. Yeah, we, we gotta. We yeah, you gotta look for the moment. It's just, it's, just. A, a quick conditioner, something affordable, something I can use to kind of keep the spikes going, but without drawing out. 
I mean, oh, I think who was doing this while I was digging through the massive amounts oh, yeah. of the uh, yeah. hair? Yeah, and... oh, yeah, just shooting it proverbial. Yeah. Oh, last question, Hoot. Uh, yeah. How long ago? When? When? When, when was this uh, fabulous makeover that you did? How? How long? Uh, mm, how long has he question. been? Um, how long has he been uh, away? Gone? That was about three days ago. Three days. Oh, That's too long. Halfling legs. He can get kind of far. <sighs> did he have a horse? You know what? It, it certainly didn't Name seem Paul like it, it, it. His feet were so dirty, it definitely looked like he was on foot. It also, we're here in Snowcrag. We're in the middle of the mountains. There's really only the Baroness's keep, or you just keep going. Is there any goddamn snow in this place? Because it's called Snowcrag. I haven't oh, seen yeah, a of it. Oh, no, it was snowing yeah. when, when he came. When does that happen? Oh, it was snow when he came? It was snowing yeah. when he came in. Oh, it did. Okay. Did he leave any footprints in such snow? I mean, it was three days ago now, so I'm sure they're probably gone. Has it been snowing since? Uh, yeah, it was. That stuff stays. Yet, snow right. stays. If it's cold, it stays. You're the ranger, buddy. Time to use. I know. Yeah. I got all the skills. Okay. I got a whole sheet of skills here. Who? If it, no. they, I, they say I can do this. Well, you know, if it makes you feel any better, who do you want? The only halfling in yeah. town, and he, he didn't wear yeah. shoes. He had furry little halfling feet, so he would leave rather interesting footprints, probably in You're the snow. Uh oh. Did we disappear? Oh. Oh. Who, who, who can hear me? I can, I can hear, hear you. you. Okay, cool. On. Yeah. I don't think it's Tom who can hear oh. us. I think Tom dropped out. Tom is accidentally. We can, hear you, yeah, we, we can hear you, Tom. Yeah, we can hear you fine. We can hear you fine. Uh -oh. we, can hear you. <laughs> we, can, we can hear you. Let me write in the private chat. We can. <laughs> We're making such progress. We can hear you. Well, I say that while... Oh, you've, you've muted yourself. Somehow, I can see. You've muted yourself. No. Yeah, you've muted. <laughs> you. Oh, technology. Oh, I know. Muted. Can you not cast a spell of... Can I, un I literally can't unmute him. I don't know if he's going to know to go into the private chat. Hey, can someone in comments... Yeah, can tell. someone in comments tell him that he muted himself? If I do, I do I have his uh, thing. I can't unmute you. I didn't mute you. I don't. I can't put. I can't put anything in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have, I don't have the power to have, do it. Uh, have yay mono or James C. If or Jozilla, if you guys are here, yeah. could you please? Great. Okay, well, back. I think he's back. So what's going on? Sorry, this happened three times. That was it. Siri <laughs> automatically assumes oh. control of the machine. Oh, um, wow. And the whole wavy purple thingy happens in front of my face and starts interpreting words I say, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> and I don't know how to turn it off. Well, it so wouldn't be I, online when I, when I speak too loudly and rapidly, as I tend to do. <laughs> it's just that like is amazing. Technology is amazing. Yeah. Thank you to the people in the comments who are going to come to our rescue. Thank I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. If someone was thank trying to help. Without yeah, some it's one hundred percent Siri. Meanwhile, Agnes, you're gonna ranger the shit out of this. Yeah. Yes, right. I will. I'm gonna ranger it all. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> where the hell do we leave off? Uh, I, but what was the last thing you remember hearing? Because he told you a lot of things. Um, that this won't hurt very much. No. <laughs> wait. Oh, sorry. That was something <laughs> else. Different day. <laughs> yeah, it was a different he day. Said being a half. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> recently. Recently. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. Three days ago, the halfling came through. He had his yeah. little feet with uh, hair We're looking at snow. It. Something about snow. There was snow. Yeah. Um, snow on the ground. I said yeah. snow stays. He, yeah. he would leave unique footprints because he is like a halfling, which halfling. is a hobbit. So he doesn't wear shoes. So he would leave very interesting and footprints. And if it's not if it's not constantly snowing, there would be some sort of trail. So there's Probably only two, oh, also another piece of important information. Sorry, I don't, I, I don't know which way to go. Uh, there was only two. Um, <laughs> it's confusing because everything's in backwards. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, what? <laughs> Uh, there's a, there was only uh, two ways to go. You either go back to the um, to the keep where mm. the Baroness is, that crazy wench, mm. or we go there. we go forward. Into uh, yeah, into the mountains. I would like to suggest that Benji the pig sniff the paper as possibly a <laughs> tracking pig that could aid, like aid the ranger in his. <laughs> yeah, but you I, I, I have a second thing that needs to happen. I need to name my pig. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I mean, Never I know he's not. Gonna name. You don't want to name. You don't want to name. It's okay. You're gonna eat. Is it okay? Never name we, what you're. We gonna can eat. do it. We're gonna name him Bacon. Nice. Beat me to it. I was literally gonna say. Let me guess. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too obvious. Mm -hmm. I think it's perfect. Fine. Should we name? Should we name McMuffin? Ooh. <laughs> I like that too. McGriddle. <laughs> 
All right, um, so uh, I'm going to track something. Should I roll my urine shaded die? Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. What's with you and the pee? I'm, and... just, I'm just bringing it back around. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I rolled an 18 plus nature that nature plus one 19. So you, you got an excellent roll and yeah, you, you get right down there on the floor. You start <laughs> sifting through all the footprints outside the shop. And eventually you do find a faint outline of a big halfling foot. Again, they don't wear shoes a and a big halfling foot, a big halfling foot because you know, no one, everyone around here wears shoes except for this guy. And uh, you see that he was kind of all over the place, that he was pacing, he was going back and forth, he entered town, and then he basically stopped at every shop along the way before uh, heading off. That speaks to his state of mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but do, should we just follow him? Because that's the guy that we want. I mean, do we need anything at the provisions place? Are they going to give us any more information than these footsteps? I, I, I think we should... All right, so I want, should I roll a ranger check thing on like which direction these footsteps go and what kind of terrain we expect sure. to encounter? Sure, sure. Okay. <clears throat> In case we do need to go to Virginia's place. The, oh, shit. The classic Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> we have one. almost <laughs> figured out where we're going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. As the adventure ends. <laughs> okay, so... My range of instincts aren't feeling so strong at the moment. I think we should go to the provisions place. Okay. Just to be safe. All right. So uh, you enter the Plenty O Provisions provision shop. It's a general goods store, really ramshackle, held together with basically chewing gum. It's packed to the rafters with all sorts of odds and ends. There's a long haired elf man in very simple robes standing behind the counter. You can barely see him because he's skinny as a bean pole, and there is just a massive stack of like jerky and travel bread and water skins. Yeah. Sir. Yes. Can I interest you in a deal for some provisions? <laughs> I mean, that is what I do here all day, every day. This this pig over here, don't say his name too loud. It's bacon. Mm, he looks he's, like a bacon. Yeah, he's worried. You can carve a lot of meat off his bones. You you, you didn't take that from the black boar riders, right? Because they will they will kill no, the it was a it was a gift. It was a gift wow. to me. They yeah. they don't give gifts very easily. No, not usually. But in my case, they love me, so they give me gifts, mm. and I get I'm to and, and when I want, in the back. I get to eat those gifts. But in this case, you get to eat those gifts. Mm, how about uh, how about in store credit? I can give you an in store credit thing. Maybe start a tab or something. Yeah, I think that. How many pieces of of uh, gold and mutton can we get for the pig? I mean, it's it's literally a suckling pig, which is like the best kind of pig. So I mean, let's let's yeah. say. Uh, 30, 40 gold. Perfect. I, I, I think we got to go 40. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. I mean, 30, 30 is too low. <laughs> right? <sighs> you, you agree. It, or... would be too, it, would be, it would be unfair to sell the pig for less than 40. 30, 30. <laughs> unfair to the pig. Unfair to the pig. 30 I mean, he's got a... information? Sorry. Oh, no. For, 40 and information. <laughs> <laughs> Information is included with the pig. What's well, you that's didn't the... say that up front. We got to get, you know, come on. Well, that's my, the that's, that's why I'm that's why I'm on persuasion. What uh, what kind of information <laughs> are we talking here by chance? Well, um, well we want to spend such gold as you provide to us back into the store that we're in as such. <laughs> and, you know, if we're going to go into rough terrains, uh, I need you to tell me maybe other people who may have gone into such terrains and what we might need to buy so that we can buy such provisions from you as such. I'm looking for a handsome blonde. Uh, what, what, what did you say his uh, beard looked like again? Oh, yeah. she, oh, she, she like Van Dyke. Like it. A Van She's Dyke a, in a Van Dyke a beard. A Van Dyke beard. <laughs> He's a halfling, small little fellow. Um, uh, he came through here a couple of days and, you know, he took my heart with him. So I'm wondering oh. if... Perhaps, you know, you could help a, a this, little uh, lady out. This, uh, this guy's uh, eyes widen at this point, and he actually kind of gets a bit of a scowl on his face. Halfling, you say? We only had one halfling in here in the last week. He had me put together about a month's worth of provisions, had me get him a little donkey from the <laughs> stables, bunch of Waterston, and then he never freaking came back and paid for them. You that never... son of a bitch. That's the same. That's the same guy we're after. That's right. He took my heart. He's my with him. second cousin. 
and you, you stole know, my heart mm -hmm. and my wallet. That's right. So we will, if you can point us in the direction that he went in, uh, we will get you your donkey back and all of that stuff because he's got some explaining to do. Oh no, I I have the stuff. He just didn't come back for it, you know, oh. yeah, which made me unhappy. Also, interesting uh, fact too about wait 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 wait. He for didn't real. leave. He, he left the shop. I want to make sure I understand it. He left the shop without anything. Uh, he told me to get it ready for him and that he'd be back later for it. Then he hit up the barber shop. Then he hit up the tavern, as far as I know. Then kind of went missing. Hasn't got his stuff. Although he's a great lunch. Although now that I mention it, uh, he had a necklace like yours. And uh, let's just say he availed me of another service that I offer. Mm. 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 What was and that? What service is that? I perhaps we don't have, judge here. I I perhaps have been known for time to time to be a something of a spellcracker. You 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 broke his you broke his. Did he have a necklace like this necklace? one? Necklace, just like that one. In fact, literal ah. real nasty piece of magical work on there. Some some fucking butcher put that together. How, how, how much did it, yeah. how much how much did it cost? Ah, uh, he basically gave me everything he had, which was. A lot of family jewelry, a lot of bonds. Books? Roughly. Oh, no, no, that book, he definitely had a book on him, but he would not let that out of his sight. Do you take yeah. blessings? <coughs> I mean, we could all use a little saving for our soul now, couldn't we? Well, then we yeah, should we sure could. You, you, you and Kaif can have a very long conversation <laughs> about that after we get to brass tacks. How much okay. did it take to get the nick off my neck? Two pigs. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> two pigs, we can do. Two pigs, we can make a deal. <laughs> I mean, I'd say whatever you have on you, but it looks like you only got two pigs on you. And you know what? We I'm might be able to do two pigs in the cleric. <laughs> well, do, do you need? Do you need anything done? Could we perhaps bargain or swap in some way? I mean, I like. Smart. Them. She's smart. I mean, I'd you like to listen to her. I'd like those black boar riders to stop shaking me down. That'd Great. Done. Yeah, I know I these think, guys. I think that's done. Yeah, he's done. like one of them now. Guys, so that's what he's we, wearing. That's we, he's, he's literally clean, one of them wearing the clothes. He said, yeah. "Yes, it's done." If we clean those guys out of town, you'll uh, you'll uh, you'll bless our little necklaces. I mean, I could certainly see my way fit to doing it. That's for sure. Actually, uh, I think uh, we all might have the same enemy on this one because uh, after the little fella. After he came to me, had me break his chains, uh, asked me where he could go to get a haircut, change his identity, but he also, also wanted papers, fake papers, for traveling. Perhaps after a month, time was off, I pointed him to the riders, because they can get just about anything under the sun that you need. Last time, uh, anyone the saw the, the dwarves who ride the hogs with the tats and the, the things. Pointed them towards him. Mm. Yeah. I well, have that's to wonder. Great. If we're good more. friends with them. That's I think right. we're all going to be friends together. Go, we're going to, you know what? We're, we, we've, uh, I spit into my hand and, uh, you know, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to get rid of those, uh, those, uh, those little dwarves. Oh, and, and we're going to, those little, those little boar riding problems that you have. And we're going to, we're going to come back and, uh, and, and you're going to, you're, it's a quid pro thing. Quo. Quo thing. <laughs> yeah. What would it take to get these things off our necks now? Look, I tell you what, if you're honest about what you're going to do, if you're going to help this town with its rider problem, I'll do it for you right now as a sign of good faith. Great. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm glad I asked. Please, and we please. will so, uphold our promises. Yeah, I mean, he's, we do. He's, very, he's very persistent about this. Uh, he will make sure it happens. So he pulls a gnarled wand out from his sleeve and he kind of takes a couple minutes on each one of you and a bunch of sparks fly and everything. And one by one, your chains actually start dropping off you. Yes. Ah. And then they all ran away. Yeah, really? You know, what would have been the reason to finish this? How well, am I doing? That's Get not over. true. That's not true because, because, because Clife is a man of honor. Oh no, I would stick Clive around, but the rest of you are also, running away. And in no, instant, you guys are gone. I'm, I'm in with my, I'll tell my you why. It, it does I'll, say on my character sheet. I'll tell you why Dulane isn't running away. Because that book, that book is power. Yeah. That book has a lot of information 
that the Baroness doesn't want anyone to, um, to, to know. I think it's got some names and numbers. And, uh, and that means, uh, that means, uh, that that's, that's good for, that's good for business. <laughs> she was willing to kill for it. So, you know, <laughs> it was uh, all right. So we are free of these chains. Uh, my next stop Switch. is probably to torture the asshole who put this stuff on our necks. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is still drunk and is still probably back of the cart right now. So that's, and I'm going to break that goddamn wand over his head. <laughs> I, want I mean, hey, it's up to you. You want I mean, what? That, that's that's kind of where. Yeah, should, we, should we should we go kill the I mean, wizard? <laughs> I, I mean, you know, I, I want. We're definitely going to do the thing that we just said we're going to do because at least I'm good, even if I'm chaotic. But like, and you know, yeah, I'm stuck. Too. I'm I'm stuck with Jim's up here, <laughs> but like. <laughs> I'm good as well. I'm chaotic. No, Clive well. is. Clive is Clive. the I'm kindly with Clive. soul. I'm with Clive. J Jim, Jim Zub knows Jim's that Clive jerk. is a, yeah, is yeah. a fool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm down for killing the wizard. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very happy with the wizard. <laughs> he's not a nice man. No, he's not. And I have my very old dice here. These are these are the wax filled in from the red box from when I was a child. Oh my god! So we're gonna we're gonna roll. Oh, those that on is a him. fine thing you have there. So we're gonna roll those on him today. That is great. <laughs> That's so cool. So, uh, yeah, do, the game. do you make your way back to the outskirts of town uh, where the uh, cart is parked? Mm. All right. Yes. I pretend like mine's still on my neck. I got like, a piece of tape. Oh, yeah, totally. Me. Oh, yeah. And We're I'm just fools. like, so you you guys don't tell me you're going to kill him. I'm just yeah. sort of like, now we can, no, we we can just, negotiate we can as equal. equal. Yeah, no, I, I kept the pig. I want to I wanna see if he can wants to, like, you know, maybe cook him up. Yeah, <laughs> anything could happen. So yeah, you you crunch your way back out of town. The sun is actually starting to uh, get kind of low in the sky now because you know you've had a whole day uh, in town shaking down people for information. The snow continues to fall very lightly. It's all very picturesque right now. And you reach the cart where you left it, parked behind some trees. It's got a nice little blanketing of snow on it, and you can actually hear snoring coming from the inside like drunken snoring like that's just how freaking comfortable uh, this guy feels yeah, that's oh, terrible. He's sleeping. oh we yeah sleeping. he is yeah don't we won't we won't i i need you to stay out here yeah and, and look you, at the you, stars you guard, you guard the cart while i go inside i'm just have a very calm nice conversation right. with him. Clive, can you wait here for one second because we want to make sure we don't we we're gonna be careful with these him. things we have to be very careful. i'm gonna what you're gonna heal no, no. him while we're trying to kill him. <laughs> no, no he's not gonna die he's not gonna die you stay here I'll be right back. Clive, I, I need you to like observe yeah. the stars right now. I need you to yeah. like, I need I, you to like, you know. You know what I want you to do? Oh, do you want to pray with me? Listen, no. I'm going to give you my pig. I'm going to give you bacon. Here's what I want you to do. I mean, I know we want to eat them, but I, I, I want to see for a second. If you think you can go on a long walk with bacon and bond with him, maybe we won't eat him. Maybe we let him live. Purify bacon. You and bacon, let me know how you feel right, about give me a, Give me a persuasion you, you get, roll. To convince me to go for a walk with the pig. <laughs> 20. Holy I swear to God. Shit. I swear to God. <laughs> I'll be like, ah, well, it, it could be. Well, his, I'm going to take the little pig. I'm going to go, could be his last day. I mean, you named him Bacon. <laughs> the know. least I can do know. is give him a little bit of exercise. Yeah, so I'll I mean, take him for a walk. Listen, we need the rations. Nice. Now, okay, he's gone. And this guy's snoring. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, these guys are staying outside. I got this guy. Okay. I go inside. Is he still waking up? Uh, again, he he kind of like uh, uh, jostles a little bit when you step inside the cart, and he kind of gives you a look right there, like a disapproving step parent. <laughs> so you're back then. I say okay. the job is. Done. I'm gonna take this motherfucker. Can I jump on his? <laughs> can I jump on him? Pin him down and slit his throat. Sure. I guess we'll call the. Should we? I, I guess I we gotta to call. I don't. Do, I do not want him to touch that wand or do anything magical with his hands. If he goes for that, I'm cutting the goddamn hands off. <laughs> okay, you know, let's let's make this before it becomes a full on combat. Make a dexterity check, and I'll make an opposing dexterity check. And this this will be like a wild west showdown. We'll see who gets their oh, stuff. Oh, initiative, aren't we? Yeah. Come on, oh man. yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. Is uh, the guy is just in a wagon, right? It's yeah. not like he's is, in. Is a, he, he drunk? He oh yeah, he's, yeah. Well, he, he, he's super dry. That's why I was gonna say, if you want to take it to combat, we can take it to combat. Or if you just want to make this like a wild west shootout thing, you can hop on him before he even gets a chance to get into combat. Depending on how you want to play it. I want to kill the motherfucker. 
Okay. Well, if, if you just want to kill him, then then let's uh, let's do opposed dexterities, and uh, we'll see if you can actually get the jump on him. Yeah, and I like it. Him. I All like. Right. I think that sounds fair, Agnes. So you you roll right. Dex. Roll Fingers Dex. crossed. Actually, you should probably roll with the twenty decision. again. I swear, I'm, I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait. I got to take a photo of it. I got to. I got to. Please I, do. You have to believe me. <laughs> so, because there it is, natural twenty, baby. All right, I, I don't know how to send this to you guys, but I have it. Wait, just put it oh. up against the screen. Oh, oh, okay. Put it up against the screen. Look at that. Let's, nice. Wait, wait. Well, oh, there. Oh. It's a, beautiful. It, I'm it's sure it's a 20. I'm sure it's a 20. It's a 20. It's a 20. It's a 20. Love it. So seeing how it plays out, uh, uh, when you hop inside there, he's in a row. What are the odds? Pretty great. He can see the murderous glint in your eye, and he's about to go reach for his wand, but you, with cat-like reflexes and ninja-like speed, manage that's to right. hop on him. I'm a criminal. He, I'm a criminal ranger. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> before he can even get his wand out, and uh, yeah, roll uh, roll me some damage on that one. In fact, I'll say roll the damage with advantage too, because you're pinning this guy. What so, am I rolling uh, here? Uh, whatever your damage is. I don't know. Uh, I had all your sheets in front of me here. I have my sheet, but I don't think it has my weapons on it. Uh, well, again, you're What's a short sword. What's a give me a d6. Yeah, it doesn't have the damage. What one d6 or two? One, uh, yeah. uh it, roll with advantage, so roll it twice and then take the biggest one. Yeah. All right, four. Okay, what's uh, what's your dexterity too? Because you get to add that as well. Three plus three. Okay, so. So four or five. Or six. Okay, so yeah, you slash him really good across the throat. He's not dead yet, but you're still very not much. Yet. He's not dead yet. He's he's <laughs> bleeding a lot though, and he's desperately is he, trying. Is he getting better? Which one of us gets to go next? Because I I've got murder in my heart as well. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll say this is one big surprise round because he hasn't actually gotten to pull anything out yet. So yeah, if you want to attack him next, you absolutely can, and also yeah, you can roll with because yeah. he's Ga can't. Gavin. Do you mind if I if I uh, if I go? My guest. Thank you. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my mind. I'm gonna do my cantrip of mind sliver. Ooh, good one. Uh, you drive a disorienting spike of psychic energy into the mind of one creature I can see within range. Cool. The target must make an intelligent saving throw. Unless the saving throw is successful, the target takes 1d6. So okay. I guess it works, and you just have to take, uh, right, saving? Uh, yeah, okay, so I got to roll against that and see if it hits or not. I, but uh, I have I advantage. So, yes, you do. So, all right, let's see how that. But you happens. have disadvantage. Yes, I do because he's on being on top of right now. So that, you know, that doesn't matter because that was a natural one right yes! away. Yes, it doesn't <laughs> Mind sliver. Yeah, his, Mind <laughs> sliver. His, his eyes start rolling in the back of his head, and he just starts convulsing <laughs> under this attack right now. That was like out of his face, like the bad guy in Flesh Gordon. So I roll damage, right? Yeah. I roll the damage, right? I roll the damn. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, I got a three. I don't add anything to it though, do I? Your no. spell mod intelligence? No, no, I don't think so. No, no yeah. I don't think I add anything. It yeah, because mind sliver is just one of those. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. so uh, so that's a three. But hold, hold your horses here. Uh, hold. One dice, six psychic damage, and the first time it makes a saving throw before the end of my next turn, it must roll a d4 and subtract the number rolled from the save. Right. So okay. the next turn. You okay. have to subtract. Cool. Come on, sliver. I'm on top of this guy, right? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He's he, he's a very weak person. He clearly chose the magical, dirty fighting school. So there's not I, much. I just want to make sure that wand is not going to get into his hand. Yeah, it's, it's like still, whatever it's, whatever happens, that's my goal. <laughs> yeah, he, he went for it and then you knocked him back. So yeah, he's in no position to reach for it. Wonderful. Uh, as a dwarf barbarian with a double bladed, heavy two handed axe, I'm feeling Hell this yeah. is overkill. And an opportunity to train. It's not overkill. It's, it's never it's overkill. Not overkill. Never it's overkill. not overkill. Benji, this is Benji exactly what you should do. Benji the pig. I want. I want his first. I want. I want him to taste blood, human flesh. <laughs> All right. Can Sounds I send Benji the pig in sure. for the kill? Vengeance. Sure. What what are we gonna call that? We'll call that roll, roll just roll a d20 and put your animal handling on that. I get yeah, it would literally be animal handling. Yeah, plus three animal handling. That's sweet. Great. 
which gives me an eight. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, did, did you roll twice? Because you still have advantage. Oh, 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 right. <clears throat> okay. It's another eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm consistently not good with animals yet. This is my gone, first pig. I've never had a pig. You should have gone for the, you should have gone overkill, man. That's He's the lesson. That's the lesson. Him. You should have beheaded him so we could feed him to the pig. Always. Here's the one. Here's the crazy thing, too. Even with that roll, you actually match his armor class, so you were actually very close to hitting him anyway. So the pig is just kind of whacking him in the head right now as he's oh having God. this convulsive fit. Okay. okay. On so my initiative, in I'm eye. talking to Bacon about his purpose in the universe <laughs> and explaining to him that all beings have a role, have a place and as long as we understand that place, we can follow the laws of the universe. And you, Bacon, you may be food or a pet, but that's okay. That's why you were brought into this world. And don't be afraid of that. Just accept the inner truth of your spirit. Okay, on to the next initiative. Love it. That, okay. was, that was well done. Okay. <laughs> Are we making noise? Like, does 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 uh, Oh, he's all, he's. We got him far away. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on a walkabout. <laughs> he's maybe hearing very faintly. <laughs> We're killing him softly here. Down, I sing so that it just sounds like it just sounds like I'm in full of song. <laughs> okay, so you guys all got a free hit in on him. So now he's going to actually try and get out from under you. And if he can get out from under you. Then we'll do the whole initiative thing anyway. Let's just try and roll on that one. So, yeah, that's a five. I'm guessing he's... Minus four is a one, so... There you go. So, yeah, he ain't breaking out of shit right now. He's a weak guy to begin with. You're still very much on top of him. So, Agnes, you get to move again in this I thing. I stabbed him in the eye. Okay, there you go. Uh, roll <laughs> me again an attack, and we'll see if it hits. And again, you get to roll twice because he's pinned. That's a good thing. <laughs> I got an eight plus... Three is uh, eleven. Okay, so again, you—he's you, kind of fighting you right now, so it's difficult. So your short sword, you kind of stab it like oh. right by his eye. He manages to move. Oh, I his missed head. this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah he moved just a little bit, but you almost got him. It's getting real brutal there. Uh, okay, dueling. Let's say it's almost uh, you, got him. I'm gonna. Um, um, I, uh, I, uh, I, I, because I did this, I, I'm, I, I have my my rapier out, and I'm gonna. Okay. Thrust. Yeah. Give me forward with vengeance. All right, give me a roll with advantage. Okay, together. okay, I got a 13 plus 4 is That'll 17. Hit. That'll hit. Yes! That's right, it'll hit. Yeah, roll us it'll, hit. it'll hit like a hitting thing does. Hold on, I got. I always get confused with the eights. I know, the eights are weird. <laughs> so it's like two little pyramids. Okay, one die, eight plus two. Seven plus okay. two is nine. Yeah, with great force, you... And jam, grace. And grace, too. You jam <laughs> your down. It literally goes from one of his ears out to the other ear. And yeah, he's he's finished at that point. He is just done. And he didn't even get a chance to do any magic stuff because you all hopped on him and didn't yeah. get him to pass. That was appropriate. This is exactly what he deserved. You are a wizard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's so okay. looking around like... I take that wand and I crack it. There you go. Off. Very yeah. strange little moment there. I, okay. uh, I throw We're all going to roll a roll a d100 next. I, I throw a blanket over um over the dead wizard because I want to hide the body <laughs> from Clive. There you go. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's okay. I got this. I got this. We, we go outside. It's Clive back. Uh, I come wandering back with the pig, and I'm like, "Are you Clive. sure we have to eat him? Because I think and, uh, deep down you know he what? knows." <laughs> I think I think we might be able to spare the pig, but I have. Grim news for you. <laughs> I got that? some grim news. The guy in the van who put the things on the necks to pop our heads off the top of our heads. The pig went crazy. <laughs> Benji attacked him and took him out. Um, we, we don't know what happened. Bitch. He, he I'm gonna know run. I'm gonna run into the back of the cart. He just wasn't happy with how things were going, and he was gonna see, pop our heads anyway. So see if we I had to, we had to defend ourselves. If I'm you gonna, try to save him, you stupid motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I will run in and try. This will be the end of you. <laughs> so I'll pop in there. Is he is he stone cold dead? Yeah, I mean stone cold dead. His body is still warm, but he has a. I will, I, I hold back, Zeif, and I say I'm sorry. It's too late. We did everything we could. 
<laughs> I mean, do you think you could save a man from a massive slash wound across the neck and literally having a rapier stuck from one ear yeah. to the other? And, and listen, I don't know how that happened. But it's <laughs> over. I'm sorry, Zyph. It's over. Ben Benji, <laughs> Benji's <laughs> tusks. Benji's tusks. They, tusks. they may look small, but it's they're tusks. bigger. They go yeah. deeper than you think. I dropped Kaif, my knees. Kaif. Benji saved our lives. Yeah, I, <laughs> I dropped so my knees. Pig is holy. He's holy. And I'm just we have a holy so, pig, like in the so Bible. Sad <laughs> that someone had to die in such a fashion. Yeah, I know, yeah. but but better him than Benji. Yeah, but then, it's true. but then yeah. also, Clive, <laughs> Clive, think about it this way. Think about the good that we will do, the people that we <laughs> yeah. will save once we find that book. Yeah, we just saved hundreds of lives. Book, the Baroness, you know, you know she is not she's not a good person for this world. Yeah, she's kind of mean. She's very bad. It's she's a wet, she's an arms dealer. She <laughs> she she toys with people. Um that's she, a, that's she fails students unnecessarily. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were deceived. I think uh what's his name? Phineas? Phil yeah, Phineas, yeah. Phineas. <laughs> Phineas is our I think he's our ally. And we need to go save him. Well, we, we will. We will get to the bottom of all of this, I'm sure, my friends. Let us trek forth in, 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 in better spirits and, and pray yep. for all of us. And let's quickly hide the body, please. A clearer <laughs> morning. You could probably jump into a snow pile if you wanted. It's big yeah, enough. Yeah, it's terrific. We could build a ditch underneath the vehicle of whatever the hell he was sleeping in. And oh, so you know, comes by and sees a dead wizard and is like, oh my God, there's oh. a dead wizard. Maybe I should go chase down the people who killed the dead wizard. We could just we dunk the body in the snow drift. His legs will be sticking out. <laughs> I mean, can we feed him to the pig? Because if the pig's really hungry, the pig's, pigs yeah, eat but, people. But we also That's steal, we I steal his, bring it to the board. I've seen Snatch. He says steal? that in Snatch. Can, yeah, we steal, can we steal his gold? Can we? Can I mean, uh, yeah, you can, go through his can we steal his gold? I want to go through his pockets. Yeah, sure. I don't want to yeah. see that. <clears throat> All right, you uh, you go through his pockets. He's got about a yeah. hundred pieces of gold on him. A yeah. nice Wonderful. ring, and uh, we're gonna donate the, that. Don't worry. And the nice thing he owned was actually the flask he was uh, drinking out of. It's uh, elven silver with some very nice emeralds on it. Wait, did Brilliant. you say that? No, no, that you don't want to drink out of any yeah, was drinking out of. That's a trade in. Gavin, a Gavin gets that. You want yeah. to, Gavin? Yeah. You, Wait, did you say you, he had you a can ring? have it? Yeah. But my okay. recommendation is to you okay. go back to the corner store there and you just get something better. But is it a magic ring? Don't, don't put your mouth. Don't put your mouth. There's a pandemic. Don't put your mouth <laughs> in fantasy land you on the thing know, that the dirty wizard like was drinking out of. He's a dirty life. wizard. He, that dirty wizard. You don't know where his mouth has been. Yeah. The ring does not the seem ring to be magical. It, it does not seem to be. It has the symbol of the Baroness's crest on it. Interestingly enough, though, the flask does seem magical. Hmm. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Don't Gavin. put your mouth on the mask, please, before you <laughs> okay. die. And I'll take the ring, thank you very much, and put it in my pocket. I bet you it's a it's a refillable flask. It literally I'm, is. Yes, I'm, every day it refills like, what you want it. That this it, is it, the flask for me. It may very well be, and you will, you will die from poison. I would like to take the ring though, because I feel like it would be of use for us to have a ring with the Baroness's. Um, yeah, we we're thing. keeping the ring. Yeah, yes. to we show around if we need it. And we, I would we, like need, to we need the ring for the espionage. Uh, Absolutely. Clive, remember that we made a promise to that provision guy that oh, we yes. were going to rid the town of those friends. So we need you, I'd be 100% <laughs> full forces. Oh, 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 I mean, we're going to hold up. I, I, <laughs> we're all we have to be forthright. We have to do what we said we were going to do, of course. That's I right. Think Get the me book. Got this. I think we're, I'm bros with the dwarves. Clave is is showing them the way i think with our combined efforts <laughs> you can turn you them. can ask them to gently to take leave. their endeavors elsewhere yeah mm -hmm. we we will have to uh lead them in prayer and uh and find find a way to the light here <laughs> maybe maybe that's uh yeah i'm gonna end up making a prayer circle with a bunch of anarchist <laughs> Biker dwarves. That's um, that's how that will all go Kumbaya, down. My dwarf. Kumbaya, yeah. I, I I I shake my my. I bring out my loot and uh, you know and 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 pluck along. It's working though. It's uh, it's, it's deep. Working. It's deep. 
we we, we go back to the store. Okay. No, we're in, the, we're in the we're in the tavern. Okay, I was gonna say, do you guys go back to the tavern where they were where hanging out, or do you go back to the Abbey, which you know now is their base of operations? Well, I it is like the to... Abbey. I mean, it seems like the right spot for prayer to me. Yes, I would just like to um, make a suggestion or a thought. I have a thought. Sure. My thought is that's probably the better idea for what we said for the provision guy. But I would like to see whether or not um, uh, our um, uh, Blondie McBlonderson. Um, had a room and maybe he's got, Sorry. maybe he didn't pay and um, maybe he's got some stuff in there. I don't know. I also think there's a chance that we can go to the tavern and, you know, between Gavin and Agnes, there's all kinds of friendliness that can happen with these dwarves. Or actually now that I'm thinking <laughs> and of it. we can convince them to be like, you know, without fighting them. But now that I'm thinking about it, those dwarves hate anything that has to do with the Baroness and they did say that they didn't like that guy. And if I were... A, in a dwarf motorcycle gang, I, I had a headquarters where I kept my pigs. I would also keep the pigs that I hate. And uh, so maybe actually it is uh, correct to go to the Abbey because maybe they have a prisoner is what I'm saying. You just said the opposite of the opposite of what you said. I know. <laughs> you know, the mead has caught up with me yes. and I don't think it's fair to be judgy. Oh, I'm not no judging. I'm just confused. confused. <laughs> anyway, I leave it to Clive. I'm sorry. I well, Clive will be happy to know that as long as this adventure continues on such a positive path, I'll let him keep the pig. Amazing. <laughs> well, these pig dudes. But Joel, we have to decide that, where we're going. Joel, I think that's the note we're going to leave this on. Is we're okay. going to be uh, creating a prayer circle with our with our biker dwarves. There. And then uh, tracking down this halfling at some future journey. I like it. I like Yay! it a lot. <laughs> that was good. That was fun. This, every good spot. Thank this you. Was, this was super fun. Are we actually going to get to continue this? Because I would totally. <laughs> I'm down. You're all welcome. I am down you. to dial back in and finish the adventure. Nice. Whenever you guys want. Me too. Awesome. Any, any time in the next week or so. Have us back. You know, we can be their acquisitions incorporated. We can That's just come right. back every year and tell one story. <laughs> yeah. Three sessions from now, we are the biker dwarves. And <laughs> <laughs> three, three sessions from now, we're the baroness. We've That's taken right. over her. That's We've how that all goes her. down. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, can I ask a question? Uh, Tom and Troy, are you both Canadian as well? I'm from New York. No. <laughs> yeah, no. Troy's in PEI, yeah. Yeah, me and Jim are Canadian. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, Canadian yeah. too, but I'm yeah. in Los Angeles, but I'm Montreal. Oh, yeah, right. Where are you in Los Angeles? We, wow. We're outnumbering them. Yeah, Tom I, is the only one in LA now. Too. Oh, are you in LA, Tom? Yeah. I'm in Silver Lake. Nice. I'm in Redondo. So, like a far, far ish. <laughs> I guess it's later for me than anyone else. It's 1 30 a.m. here oh, on Terry. No, it's 2 30 a.m. where I'm at. Yeah, he's oh, in PEI, dude. Oh, yeah, PEI. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're Canadian as well, Joe. Canada, yes. Canada. Oh, that's right. Um, Thank you so much. First of all, I just want to say thank you because I, it really has been a dream of mine to play with um, Zub for a long Aww, time. Thank and you. And so I'm, it's always so great to see you, Jim. And, <laughs> yeah, um, you too. And uh, I, I had so much fun playing with you all. I hope we all get to play again one day. <laughs> Jim, I, I would like to play with you again. I love playing this character who's just like haplessly good. <laughs> <laughs> like despite themselves i haven't really done that kind of thing before and it's it, great uh you know it's a good it's a good little trope to play on it was fun yeah. i'm still yeah. i'm still yeah. finding gavin but i feel like now that he's got a big sidekick you know i'm gonna connect with his, oh yeah his animal nature yeah. as well as his barbarian side i feel yeah. like you really got gavin gavin really has a very particular special <laughs> flavor you know like mm. he's yeah. you know it's like quiet but more, mighty. More, yeah. yeah, it's quality all the way. Well, yeah, I just, I, I if you guys to... want to play, I I am totally down. I only get to DM these days. So, oh uh, yeah, I'm usually the DM as I'm, well. So it's I'm super happy to play. Yeah, nice. I, have, I, have a, I have a weekly group where I DM. And, uh, well, well, uh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, you know, um, I I would love to invite you all. Like, um, my brother and I are starting like a one one shot every month. Uh, that we're just, you know, doing privately. Um, and uh, if anybody wants to play, I've invited Jim, you know, um, so I'll, I'll, I've got your emails now. So if you, yeah, if you yeah. ever want to play with us. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, and, and, and not to scare you guys, I'm not always this over the top of the character. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was just for fun. I, that's the whole point, right? We're all yeah. playing a different role. That's the joy of yeah. it. So awesome. <laughs>
I decided Thank to be you. a bard because Cherie was a bard in your um in your thing that you did with her, Jim. My friend Cherie, oh, yeah. my my That's right. my besties, you know. So, so awesome. I was like, yeah, oh, I'll be a bard. We did this thing called Wizards and Wordsmiths with, that was like um, uh, authors, YA authors, all doing a D and D game. We ran like a three session little little adventure. It was a ton of fun. It was great. Yeah, doing awesome. it. It's been such a. I've been doing more tabletop this year, I think, than I have in probably the last two put together. Uh, but all of it's been you know over uh, over the camera. But it's been kind of nice to see oh. friends and get yeah. a regular game going. So it's been good. Cool. Yeah, same thing. Same thing here. Like it's all been. I haven't played this much, and that I played this year and forever. It's yeah, yeah. Been like, it's been. Uh, it's been. What nice. are you gonna do? You know. Yeah. Sorry, it's I weird really... playing straight up D and D and not the Rick and Morty D and D. I know. <laughs> That's right. I've been my head so far in the Rick and Morty world with the D and D. I'm like, I'm waiting for Jim to bust into like. All right, Morty. Morty, Morty. you little shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, we did that for the New York. That was good fun. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. Well, thank you, Joel, and thank you, everyone else. Thank you for having Peace me. So great. It's been a ton of fun. I and, deeply and appreciate it. Thank you to everyone who stuck around and yeah. watched yeah. our game. Yeah, thanks, fine. thanks for commenting and stuff, and um, for helping us when Tom uh, had to deal with Siri. <laughs> thank you. Good. My, thank you for my shortcomings. Uh, <laughs> All right, take care, everybody. There are, there are many. <laughs>